Okay. Let's see if this actually works now. Okay, I'm gonna be so annoyed if it doesn't work. Like, oh fuck. Let me just like test it real quick. Let's see if this actually works now. Okay. Okay, it does work. Okay, I'm gonna be so annoyed if it doesn't work. Excellent, okay. So just starting a bit early. I oh, got the background, I had to improvise so much with the lights here. It's just such like a mess, but. Oh well, well if my roommate walks in, uh, I don't care. He can get filtered about it and cry. 620, okay. Oh, I see someone in chat there. Hello, Captain Pepsi. I've just started about eight minutes early. Uh, just waiting about till 630, until things to really start. I do have a plan, I promise. I spent like two hours trying to set everything up because I'm not uh, super adept with OBS, but I, I think I have it working now. I have no idea how my audio sounds. It'll probably be fine, but uh, who knows? Maybe the recording will just explode, but that is a problem for future Peter, so don't worry about it. I hope the audio, while I have some time here before the game properly starts, I hope I'm balanced uh, well enough. I hope the game isn't overtaking me and like my mic audio isn't bad. I don't think a lot of people necessarily care, but I, I, you know, I try to make it a nice audio experience for everyone involved because you know a lot of people listen to me while they sleep, so I, I want to focus more on audio. But I've yet to receive any complaints. So, doesn't really matter so far. No news is always good news. Remember that. <laughs> oh, excellent. Another chatter. Hello there, Arrow. It is nice to see you. I'm so glad you could join me for the most painful way to play this game physically possible. Because it, it really is. I've played this game since it came out in 2004 as a three-year-old when I had a Game Boy Advanced. And, uh, what's that? I've seen a Brazilian doing the same challenge on Emerald. I'm sure it's possible on Emerald. I've actually not seen it. I've never seen anyone do it, Emerald. I'm sure it's more than possible. I, I, I mean, I might do it at some point if this takes off but I, I'm more familiar with Fire Red, because I had Fire Red and Leaf Green as a kid. So, like, these games were just much more familiar to me. He actually used math and planned it. Well, <sighs> math is very helpful, especially on, like, on a damage calculator. Like, uh, just to see what level you have to grind to in order to get like the just amount to not waste an absurd amount of time but also guarantee one hits because at least with gen 3 challenges the one thing you have to watch out for is quick attack it's like the only that and extreme speed are priority moves that you need to watch out for otherwise uh you're done you know you take one hit of damage you're done you reset the game if correctly, he picked the starter that had more chance. That is how it works. And you will see which starter is, I'm pretty sure, the best one. Because I know what it is right off the bat, and I will explain that. But, I will say, if you've ever seen uh, Small Ants on YouTube's run of Pokemon Platinum with his exact challenge, taking no damage, what you want to do is a starter that... You ha how I kind of thought about it is the other starters 
should probably have something like uh, defense. Like, it should have tail whip. Or, le like, you know, it like lowers defense. Because if you lower attacks, that means you're gonna have more chances for the enemy AI to hit you back. But you also want something kind of fast. So you don't want something slow, but you also want your opponent to have a defense lowering drop. Because what you're wanting to do is uh, hit something with defense. Because, you know, if, if they keep hitting, I think Leer lowers attack, I'm pretty sure. And you just have you hit, hit like six times. But for the starter, I'm going to choose, I think it's four. You just have to get four tail whips in a row and you will win. It just takes a long, long time, which is why I have the handy reset counter here. Because I, I actually, I downloaded a specific program just to get the counter working. It does work. I've tested it. It's just a... Uh, Right at the start, you're gonna hit, like, an immediate roadblock, and it's gonna suck ass, but I will hopefully be entertaining enough to, uh, continue that, because part of the fun of the stream, like, if you were just watching someone to play the game regularly, you would not be here. Imagine running to a Pidgey on the first route. Oh, yeah. You kind of have to avoid Pidgeys because of, uh, Quick Attack. You want to avoid normal types. They are a huge problem because I think Pidgey's... Yeah, Pidgey and like the whole line is quick attack. Rattata especially has quick attack. So you're gonna need something with a priority move to hit them first. And there's like two priority moves and they're both normal type, which means you gotta have another normal type that's so much stronger right at the start. And it's not fun. I... I will not spoil the team that I'm going to use, because I already know who I'm going to use going right into it. But I will introduce it as I go. So don't worry. There is, like, a little bit of pre-planning, because... Unless you went on a little secret, I've done this before. I posted on my channel a couple days ago a screenshot of when I did it, like, two years ago. It is very possible. I have it, like, semi-recorded. By allowing myself to use legendaries on this challenge, uh, maybe. Pro probably, because there is one legendary that might be useful. I don't know about the other two. Like, maybe Moltres. I'm not quite sure. Probably not Zapdos, because there's a bit of a... There is a specific one I want to use. Probably not Articuno, because I have no idea. Articuno kind of sucks. And all you really need is just Ice Beam. You don't really need a dedicated Ice type. Like, just get Ice Beam from the game corner for Lance, and that's, like, you're good enough. So I don't know how useful the three birds will specifically be, but that's something we'll cross on later. You know, the one they don't come to way later in the game. And there's kind of a problem. If I have to uh, either... I'm not really sure where I stand on resetting and save scumming because part of the fun of a challenge like this is losing time and screaming and crying into a pillow, but that would mean I'd have to choose one legendary and then master ball it right away because it's going to attack me otherwise because they all have like drill pack and aerial ace. So even catching Pokemon still factors in on the no damage. When I mean no damage, I mean squat. Zero. Take no damage whatsoever. That health bar is green. No healing items, except for PP restoring items, because that obviously is not tied to health. Times Okay, it's almost 6.30. Excellent. Oh, let me get the game back up. Biggest challenge I've ever done in Pokemon was catching 151 in the first generation. I had to use an emulator that emulated the link cable. Yeah, uh, despite... I usually had both versions as a kid growing up, but it's like, I don't know, the both versions have not been something I think the franchise should have done past the 3DS. Like, Black and White had the best reasons to be dual versions, and I'll defend, like, ORAS specifically because it's remaking a series of games, even though Emerald was kind of what they should have remade in the first place, but 
past the 3DS, there's literally zero reasons for dual versions to exist. Because, I don't know, kids don't even play these games, it's like all adults. This is for 35 year olds. No child plays Pokemon anymore. Because the franchise is kind of in like a dumpster, but... Oh god, yeah, the Magmar, it's... Okay, 6.30. It's the perfect time. Now, I'm going to explain this challenge again, just for like, for recording purposes. So this is Pokemon Fire Red. And what I'm going to set out to do is take zero damage, not a point, none, none whatsoever. And that means you cannot take a hit once from any trainer battle, any encounter, nothing. That health bar always has to be the same or else it is counted in the resets. And that's about it. I will play kind of fast and loose with the saving because I'm going to be honest, I'm not a full-time streamer, right? I got a regular Joe job. I don't have 12 hours a day to sink into wasting time, okay? I'm not small and I don't got that kind of money. I don't have that damn money. Not yet, at least. But without further ado, let me get into the actual game. Perfect. I had to set up my controller finally. I will also try not to use too much speed up because I feel like it's kind of annoying to just speed up through everything. Like if there's an immense amount of grinding ahead, which there will be, don't worry, but like I still wanna take it a bit slow through the game. And plus it's kind of annoying to hear this sped up audio all the time. It's just not, not super interesting. I've actually never played Yellow. I've hardly played Red or Blue for that matter, because my generation was three. I did play Blue a bit later through a friend's copy. Never played Red, or I guess Green for that matter, or Yellow. I've never touched Gen 2. Never played Gold, Silver, Crystal in my life. Can you imagine Professor Oak, the look on his fucking face when I'm telling him, all right, Oak, uh, I'm taking zero damage, nothing. It's not gonna happen. Like, I don't need to buy health potions, you old fuck. Why is it- his drip is kind of insane. This is something I'm realizing now. What is his drip? So he's got the white, ice-cold, white Balenciaga lab coat. Over top, a purple, like, dress shirt with the button undone. Like, he's just got that thang out, letting the collar, with some golden khakis. What is his drip? There's no reason for him to be this iced out in Pallet Town. In fucking Pallet Town, alright? Looks like Brampton. Looks like Brampton, Ontario. Oh. No Pokeballs for the shiny. Oh, brother. You hate to see it, you hate to see it. And I am choosing a boy because I'm not one of those weirdos. You know, it's like, I, I just choose a girl because I don't like to stare at a dude's ass all day, like. All right, buddy. All right. I was gonna name myself something funny, but. Unfortunately, the characters select, I think it's seven. There's only seven characters allowed in the screen, so. You don't really get an opportunity to be funny. I've been thinking about streaming for like three days and I still haven't figured out what the fuck to name this guy. And all the names are shit. I guess, has anyone actually named their fucking rival Toru? Like, get out of here. Nobody knows what that means. And I don't even know what to name him. Actually. I do know what to name him. That's not it. Uh... Am I just retarded? 
Why can't I do it? Yes! It's always been. GAT! I think it's like one of the most annoying words in the English. No, it's not even the English language. It came out like two years ago. It was in like the cultural rotation, and it sucks, but I actually cannot think of anything else. And I. I. If I ever do a video about it, I will just have a stupid running joke of like. I don't know, like the Kai Sanat sound. I will be doing shift, to clarify. I'm not doing set, because if I do set, I lose this challenge instantly. Because the entire point is to one-shot everything. And if you can't, you have to... You have to take a shot, which means you'll lose instantly. You, you cannot do this on set. Even though I usually like to play on set. I still find it very enjoyable that since it's such a faithful remake to, uh... Fire, uh, to red and green, there's still an NES. Like, it's still the 90s, like the early 90s. Which was always so weird to me, because I was playing this game in like 2004, 2005. So, I, I, I had like a GameCube at that point. The Wii was coming out. It's These are very weird remakes now that I think about it. I never knew about the potion here as a kid, I just never checked. Let's save for that. I do enjoy that this game, your mother leaves you alone. She does not pester you at all. Which is very nice. Like, you can, you can get started in this game very, very quickly. Like, I feel like a lot of their Pokemon games just hold your hand and make you go on and on. And it just takes forever. But not this one. No, it will not be useful. But it will be useful for money. Because I still need to buy, like, pro at least a dozen Pokeballs. I need a couple of those. Repels and escape ropes. Maybe not even escape ropes, but that's it. That's true, she doesn't have a room. I assume she just sleeps in the kitchen. You can, you can really tell this game was made in Japan. SMH, they do not be treating the women well there. It's tough. It's tough. I'm fed up with waiting, Gramps. Let's go. Yacht? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you just to come. Just wait. Here, Peter. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. -ha. Old head. Oh, old head's always got to be explaining shit to you. And I can have one. So, this is an incredibly important decision. But you can't walk away. I remember when I was a kid, I used to use game shark codes to skip through text and then just get all three starters in a row but this is an incredibly important decision because y this is the battle you will reset the most you literally run into a brick wall immediately right here so our choices we got bulbasaur we got squirtle i don't know why he's always in the middle usually he's the water's on the end and charmander now, something to consider is what... They all start off with... Do they all start off with Tackle? I think it's Tackle. And Tackle is a 95 accuracy move, which means you still have a 5% chance to hit. Doesn't... Like, you know, 5% chance isn't a lot, but... You gotta understand their secondary moves. I think Bulbasaur has... Uh, God. He has, like... Growl, I think, which lowers attack, which is really bad, because if you lower attack, that means you have to hit more in in the first battle. Like, it means you have to get more than a couple hits, so we don't really want to be fighting against this thing, which means we will probably not be picking 
That's not... That's what I mean. You gotta have the water type at the end of the table, Oak. Old fuck. But this is probably why we'll not be choosing Squirtle, is because he's got Tackle and Tail Whip, which lowers the defense. But lowering stats is not gonna help. Not at all. Because you want to hit everything once and kill it. So lowering stats just greatly improves the odds of you being hit and forcing you to reset the battle, which is really not what you want to do. So this is why you need Charmander. Because Charmander, I, what is he, is he like Tail Whip, which lowers defense, which we won't be using. But when you choose Charmander, you get Squirtle who lowers defense, and what we need is our defense to be lowered, I think, four times, and then. And then we can win the fight, because this fight is possible. I've done it before. Oh, do I want to give a nickname to Charmander? I think I do. It's a female Charmander. Okay, that's, that's low odds. Okay. I want to try something. I really hope, uh, there's enough character space. Oh no. Now, I am electing to name her not important, and you know why? It's because it's the name of the last video game character from the game I last reviewed on my channel. Which you should watch, by the way. It's got 9,000 views in a week. That's pretty good. That's not bad. But I spent a lot of time. You better go watch that. If these streams ever take off, that's, that's the deal that I'm going to be setting between this. I will do a lot of streams and put myself through a lot of pain. Not just by playing Pokemon, but by doing things wrong all the time. Oh. That's foul, Arrow. You got a dirty mind. You got a dirty mind. You're done. It's disgusting. SMH my head. SMH my head. Yo, Peter, recently discovered your channel fully after watching Scarecrow and Coronation Day vids. Didn't know you wanted to revive the haunted gaming genre, which I'm grateful for, by the way. Thank you very much, Pico. That is absolutely something I want to do, and it is very apparent that all, uh, all my inspirations, like, everything I do is inspired by Mudahara Nas, Some Ordinary Gamers. Everything I do is literally accredited to and inspired by him. And that's why I stole everything he's done, <laughs> because I've made Strange Gaming is literally just haunted gaming. But I, I put my own spin on it, because it's it's not live stuff. It's pre-recorded, there's scripts, and, you know, it's its own more video essay things. 31 Patrick, you mean the most controversial game? It is. Thank you very much, 31 Patrick. I appreciate that. I understand that game is not for everyone. Don't worry, I know some people did not... Re don't really care about hatred and that's cool you know it's not it's not an amazing game it's a very weird game you got to be a very particular kind of person to enjoy it but it was a very interesting story and i thought i did all right like i got a tripod because i wanted to do specific shots for it all right so scared so i will be setting a save state before the battle just for quicker like uh Because I, I, I do want to just not have to waste so much time. Alright, rival Gyat, just, just, just rip my cheeks. I'm gonna die. Can you, can you imagine if not important was shiny? I think I'd come. I think I'd say, I would do a clause where... Actually, that's a good idea. Should there be a shiny clause that if, for some reason, I find a shiny Pokemon, I can do whatever it takes to catch it, even if it takes damage? Maybe. It's very unlikely, so the answer will probably be no. But if it does come, uh... Well, now I know where to use my Master Ball. 
Shut up, Oak. Alright. I'm so dreading this. To get the save state. Alright. Literally all we have to do is scratch. And if it hits Tail Whip, like, four times... All right. So it begins. Let me let me get my actual restart thing here. It's very it's a little bit ghetto, but don't worry about it. I do have it working. And I have to reset. It. Okay, so. Add insult to injury, it was a cr that's true. It was a crit. I'm really not liking Gyat, you know? Gyat's not treating me so well. I don't understand what I've done. The Gyat needs to leave me alone. Okay. Oh shit. Uh, wrong button. Yeah, no, uh, this Squirtle seems to be really lucky. Luckier than I am, which is unfortunate, because what I really need, this whole battle is about playing in the numbers and luck. As far as I know, I don't know if there's like a 65 IQ strategy to like manipulate your crit chance here, but I don't know it. So that, that recount, there is a chance it could be triple digits. Okay, Tail Whip. He literally just needs to Tail Whip four to five times. Okay, second time. If I crit here, I could win. But he needs to Tail Whip one more time. Ah, oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Okay, we got someone in the chat doing math. It should be... Four to five, maybe six. Actually, next time I will check my Charmander's nature, because... I probably could have reset for that, but I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I don't want to be here longer than I absolutely have to for this fight. So I don't know if I care that much. Shucks indeed, Matthew. So we got another Tail Whip. That's a good sign. Oh, a crit. Tail Whip. Get the fuck out of town! No way he tail whipped on a crit. Oh, that's not fair! I was... Oh, shit. I'm disconnecting my controller. Look at that! Look at his health! I got a crit! And he tail whipped! And this motherfucker survived... On, like, three. That can't be more than three. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. That's tough. That is- I think that's the four. I already forgot the reset. Pretty sure that was four. Unless it was five and I'm a dumbass. It could have been- it could have been something incredible. Imagine... Under ten tries to do that is... Unbelievable. Because when I did this, I got, like, 60. Oh. Uh, okay. What, what a ball ache. What an absolute ball ache. I actually got so excited. That would have- that would have been a clippable moment. I would have put that as a YouTube short and been raking in YouTube short money. But God said no. He said, no! No crits for Peter. You get nothing! All right, that's okay. What we can't make up for in luck, we can make up for in... Am I reading that right? Mr. H, $50, wipe your tears with some money. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was not prepared for that. 
Oh my goodness, that... Thank you so much, Mr. H. That... That is so heartwarming. I, I've actually never gotten a donate. I think I've gotten a super chat before on live premiere of a video. But that is so unbelievably kind. Not not even just the amount. The, the amount, of course, is appreciated. Like, that's so nice of you. But the fact... Oh, I gotta reset. The fact I have a community that is willing to do that, that really means the world for me. Can we get some H's, H's in chat for Mr. H? H in chat. I'm writing that. H in chat. What, what a king. What a god amongst men. We have got- get some H's in chat for this absolute god. What a, what a Chad king. Just- just fill it up with the H. You know- I'll remember this. I will remember you, Mr. H. J not just for now on the VOD that I will save, but your name will come up. I will write this down. This, this is a mo- It's sort of hard to focus on the very specific part of the game and to be super thankful for what you have. But don't worry. It will come later. I need to like figure out Streamlabs or something because I, I have a program called, it's called like Death Counter that I got from GitHub that just, it like plugs into a chat thing, uh, a texting for OBS, which is what I'm familiar with, but I, I definitely don't have like that uh, professional streamer thing going on. Okay, we got that tail, we got that tail whip. Don't worry about it. I, I do kind of like another crit. Aw. Oh. That's tough. Okay. But that's not- He crit against me! It's not even luck anymore. That's actually just- It's neutral now. We both crit. Will he be included in the Patreon credits? Maybe. Normally that tier is just reserved for the, uh, donators of the Jawcoin tier, but I will probably give a special thanks to some people who choose to donate more. I don't know when that point would be, because I hate to say like, oh, you, you didn't donate enough to get your name mentioned, because I hate that. It's like, that makes people feel in, like not considered. It sucks for me, because it makes <laughs> people want to give less money, but, you know. There's, you know, I, I, I really am just so thankful people are here. That e even if like three pe- I was very prepared for like three people, and I was still gonna do it anyways. You gotta struggle a little bit. I prefer not to be in the creds. That's fine with me. Don't even worry about it. Okay, we got the tip. Like, it's just such- it's just such- I like to maintain a small digital footprint. That's fine. Don't even worry about it. I- I- I understand you completely. You're the smart one in this situation. Okay, we got three tail whips. Alright, another tie. We literally- <sighs> My Charmander sucks ass. I'm- I'm just realizing this. The Charmander just stinks. I always forget to do speed up. I'm wasting so much time. <laughs> you know, at, at a certain point, there will be. I was. I wish I was. I'm almost 19. I've grown up on the internet, so getting rid of everything would be impossible. Okay, I understand where you're coming from that, Pico. It, it might seem difficult, but you just gotta think. At least from, like, uh, you know, considering from my perspective, it, it's like, a, if you just delete, like, a Google account, because a lot of people just sign into stuff via Google, that a lot of that stuff's just gonna go away. And even if you have, like, a weird footprint of old accounts, 
it's not gonna come up. Like, it's a bit different. Well, I'm, I'm not a great example, because yeah, I'm kind of irrelevant, but... It's, uh... It's, it's really only for people, like, in the crossfire, and, like, the kind of online content, because the average Joe is not going to experience, like, the crazy kind of, like, weird cyber hunting that, uh, would, like, people's online content typically falls into. I work in cybersecurity. Okay. You have every reason to leave a small digital footprint. Cyber- People who work in cybersecurity know just how, like, destroyed the internet is when it comes to privacy. They have every reason. Also, that, that is a very lucrative job. I considered that in uh, my college days, but it just wasn't for me. It's not... I mean, I also probably couldn't cut it because I'm kind of a dumbass, but... What are you gonna do? I'm trying to think. Because I did, I did this like two years ago. I, I want to say it was it took me 60, 70 times to uh, beat this first fight. It's fun, stressful as heck. That I'm sure it is. I wouldn't even begin to know uh, where to start with that. Because when I was in college doing it, everything about networking in the internet was like the hardest stuff to do. But it is definitely, uh, definitely lucrative. It's just probably very soul-crushing, depending on the person. You know, some people really enjoy it. I don't think I'd be that person, but, you know. Okay, if I can hit one more, or if I can get, like, a crazy crit, this could be it. Nah, okay. Like, I... If I can get three tail whips and one of them is a crit... I will win this, and then I'll, like, do a dance, and I'll finally talk about the Mario. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. It's nearly 12 p.m., and I've got school tomorrow. Good night, and take care of this. Well, have a very good night, 31, Patrick. I'm glad you can join us, if even for such a small time. Try to enjoy yourself tomorrow. I always get, like, a little bit excited. It's like, alright, two tail whips. You know, if I get a crit, and it's the third one. But, I don't really know how to explain it, but there is some kind of, like, weird... Gen 3 has really weird programming with the Pokemon fights, but you can exploit it. But this specific scenario is really hard to exploit, because you got one move. Lol, yeah, networking is hard and kind of boring. Like, class, A, B, C, I, O, addressing, and firewall. The stuff is so unforgivably boring. Yeah, no, that doesn't surprise me one bit. But, you know, a lot of people don't mind boring jobs. And, like, that's the whole thing. It's boring, it might be soul-crushing, but as long as you can come home, have a nice cold beer, watch something, it doesn't matter. And if the money's great, people are fine with that. Like, I know, uh, like, my generation, a bit younger, a lot of people, like... I want to be internet streamers, I don't want a boring job. And that's a great thing to have, to like run, to chase for your dreams. But there is real security in having a boring job that's reliable and makes money. And there's nothing, those people are the backbone of society. Like, I'm not even at the point where I can be living like, like I kind of was in the summer. Not well, like I was eating ramen noodles and spam, but like those people really are like, not everyone's gonna make it as a streamer. I haven't even made- I'm not a streamer, I certainly haven't made it, like, as a YouTube person. Like, I really gotta pinch my pennies, but that's the life I chose. I'd rather do that and be a little bit broke, and it's okay. That's basically me having a beer watching a stream. Exactly, that's what- That's the audience, you need to be appealing to those people. Like, you need to be appealing to the casual everyman. I might leave soon too, 1 a.m., but I'm glad I got to join. At least tell Peter how much I appreciate the direction his channel is going. Also, the smoke detector beeps in the Sonic.exe vid killed me. I knew that that was like the defining feature. I I thought of this stuff like a month in advance. 
and like the smoke detector was like the first part. I was like, all right, that's what I need. And it was so stupid. And I, there was, I had to spend like two seconds. He missed. I haven't actually had a miss in 20 damn tries. Aw, oh, that sucks, but that's something I actually forgot to consider. Uh, Tackle has a 5% chance to miss. So, I don't even need a crit. If he just gets unlucky and misses, I can still get this. It's been 40 minutes, and I'm still not even past Battle 1. That's tough. That's tough. Is Charmander the highest evasion in Fire Red? I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. But the last time I did this, I mostly chose Charmander for this, but also, you have to consider, Viridian Forest is all bug types, and you can't take any damage. So, when this guy learns Ember, he can just take out the bug types, no problem. But also, uh, Brock's Gym, because if you train enough, Exclusive to Fire Red that wasn't in uh, Red and Blue, he learns Metal Claw, which makes it so much easier just to wipe the first gym. And I do have a plan for Misty. You know, he's not going to do great unless I level him to 100 on the grass, which isn't even working because the grass outside Misty's gym has Pokemon with Quick Attack. So I literally can't level off that, which does kind of concern me because there's a very specific Pokemon I need to train. And, uh... I just gotta cope with it. I knew what I was getting into with this challenge, don't you worry. 24. Yeah, 40 minutes. I haven't even gotten past Battle 1. Oh, brother. I have no idea how long... I, I didn't want to be here for like 2, maybe 3 hours, but... You know, I've, I've never streamed. I have no idea what like the etiquette is, but... Who cares? You know, it's just gonna be a very chill and comfortable place to be. Featuring an insane Canadian with bad lighting playing Pokemon in the worst way feasibly possible. But who cares? You just, you just gotta go for it. Stop thinking about it and just do it. And you know what's crazy? This probably isn't even as bad as, like, shiny hunting for a lot of people. I I used to shiny hunt on the 3DS games where, like, the shiny charm was crazy. And I used to shiny hunt in, like, Ultra Moon. Indeed. Canada represent, brother. It's... it's tough. Alright, got a dip. Good luck on the run. Hope chat is fun, too. I absolutely hope chat has more fun than I do, because, like, there's only so much fun you can have resetting at Battle 1. Have a good night, Pico. Enjoy yourself. Getting some bad luck when it comes to, uh... When it comes to getting tackle in the first turn, but that means I can just reset earlier. I get the silver lining, I guess. I really hope the recording works, because if I ever choose to do something with the footage, uh, you know, it'd be a lot easier just to do this instead of downloading the VOD footage. But, I mean, whatever, like, I can cope and cry about it. Alright, I kind of sped past that. Tail whip. Tail whip. Okay. So, two more. Small closing tangent, but I hate streams where the chat goes by light speed with the emote span was 10 more times than stream. That's true. I don't watch a lot of streamers, honestly. As much as I do like a lot of popular streamers, because I- Wow! Look at the damage! Five health! That's the worst crit I've ever seen! Suck my dick, Squirtle! I hate you! That's true, though. Uh, sorry for peeking the microphone, but yeah, no. Big streamers are cool, but, like, you don't need to be there. And I especially don't feel the need to donate to many streamers. Like, I feel like there's kind of a curve of, like, underrated streamer. You get a little bit more money, and then you're, like, a middling streamer. 
where you got some, like, whales, as people call it, which I think is an insane way to say supporters, but... And then it goes back up to where people need attention from, like, a big streamer, like, uh... Like a Hassan, or a Small Ant, or a Mizkif, or a Destiny, or something, you know, something like that. People who make thousands a day, which is like... I don't think that's healthy, honestly. Everyone likes money, but making thousands a day like that on the internet, I think it actually pollutes your brain. I think you still need to earn money reasonably. This is why the best advice I have for anyone wanting to do streams or YouTube videos, some kind of like fu funny fake internet job, have something on the side that earns you regular Joe money. Partially because I know a lot of you guys just want to exit from society and not talk to people ever. Which is reasonable, but you're gonna lose your grasp on reality a little bit. It's like, when I was doing it in the summer, I didn't have a job. Like, I, I just, it was, it's lonely. And even if you're not making, you're working once a week at a grocery store. It's not, like, that's fine. Yeah, I don't donate to big streamers. They're making tons of money. Exactly. That's exactly, you, like, that can affect, you know, like if a million people all think, I don't need to donate, they're not gonna make as much. But you, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not uh, crying for millionaires, <laughs> to be honest. I don't really shed any tears when it comes to people who make that kind of money. Because they also got YouTube careers, they've got deals, they're fine. Alright? They, they're, they're big boys and girls, they can take care of themselves. And by the way, Arrow, that is the Gyat Squirtle. God damn it, Squirtle. Your Gyat is not working out. Oh, okay. On a Patrick Warperton uh, voice. Hey, Peter. For my channel name being Hey, Peter, uh, I actually can't do a good Joe impression. Uh, I'm actually really. I'm doing. I'm better at doing a Peter impression than Joe, which is kind of embarrassing. Thanks for being the creator you are. Well, you're very welcome. I'm I'm more glad than you are that you enjoy my work than you find something comfortable to watch on a time off, either because, like, old YouTube nostalgia, which I, I do try and keep alive, while also kind of subsidizing it with, uh, you know, some modern stuff. Like, I am trying to adapt a little bit. You know, I, I do want success. Like, I'm not doing it just for the art form. Like, I'm not an artist. It's people making YouTube videos. But I do want to keep that kind of gaming, the haunted gaming thing alive. I haven't actually made a creepypasta in a long time. So I think creepypastas like destroy like something about the channel analytics. I don't care. I can cry. Boohoo! And channel analytics because nobody wants to watch Sonic the EXE. I don't care. It's funny. It's all going on the channel. I don't care. My goal is to use donations to keep new content creators that I like motivated to non-stop basically. That'll do it. That'll do it. Because, you know, I, I think I spoke about it before. It's not always about the money. Like, it's nice. I do have plans with money. You know, I need to pay rent and survive. And I want to spend my money on expensive video games. And, like, maybe a car in the future. Is that another crit? That's another crit! I hate you, Gyat. Your stupid Squirtle Gyat is getting in my face. And I'm not- I'm not a fan! I'm not a fan. The chances of winning this battle without getting hit are somewhere around 1%. 1%. Percent. One percent. One dollar. <laughs> that's, oh, that's tough. But you know what? I like those odds. I like them. You know why? Because I'm built different. I'm built different. I'm g I will not end this stream until that Squirtle is done. And then some. It's not happening, alright? I got no work tomorrow. It's not happening. I don't know about it. I think that artists are all of use the tools that they create to disposal to express themselves through a medium. Narrative speaking, video, author, draws. That That is true. Like, I suppose I am being a bit reductive by not considering my YouTube videos art. I, I meant more as like a what I'm specifically doing isn't because I do take inspiration of uh 
I do take inspiration from sort of like the video essay format, but I'm not, I don't think that people are gonna change their lives. I'm just here for entertainment, first and foremost. That's always what it's gonna be about. It's another crit. I, Gyat's really causing me some problems here. About to play Mahjong. I think that's in Yakuza, but honestly, I've only played 20 minutes of Yakuza. I've heard those games are really good, and I, I think they're kind of uh, like sandbox, like Grand Theft Auto Saints Row. So uh, maybe I will play them one day, but I'll probably be on my own time on the PS4, because you know, I, I love streaming some games, but there's some games that I need to play on console because I'm such a big advocate for physical games on a disc or cart that I want to experience alone. That doesn't need to be streamed, because that does change my perception of the game a little bit. But, you know, if it's on PC only, kind of its own thing. Let's say you had Squirtle. How many Tail Whips would you have to get without getting one to hit the rival's Pokemon? I'm not sure. So, because if I had Squirtle, Bulbasaur has a Growl, which lowers attack, which means the bare minimum amount of attacks that I need to hit are... I, I think I need to... Uh, hold on. The bare number of attacks I need to hit is like... It's gonna be like six or seven, which means it's gonna go from 1% that goes all the way down to like zero point whatever. Actually, let's check my Charmander's nature. It's jolly. Okay. Uh, I don't... I don't remember natures, to be honest. When I was a kid, uh, none of this mattered. Saints Row 2 is a glitch that sounds like a creepypasta. The freezer! Yes, I love the freezer. It's such a good... I get a creepypasta. I guess I'll call it a creepypasta. It's, you know, it's not real, unfortunately. But it's very cool. I really like it. I need to play more of Saints Row 2. That was such a good game. It's a genuinely good example. It's gonna sound weird. It's got a very diverse cast, but it's good. Everyone loves Johnny Gat. Everyone loves Pierce. Everyone loves Shondi. Nobody cares. And Growl can't make you get hit with zero, right? I can't remember Fire Red at all. Uh, well, Growl, you can do it like six times before your stats lower, but at that point, you don't really want to bank entirely. You only need like one crit. That, that's three tail whips. Okay. If I get a crit, I will win. Oh, okay. That's still the best luck we've had. But that's what I'm, that's what I literally need four tail whips in a row. And it is possible because if three is possible, then four is possible. I really, I hope this stream is running smoothly, because I, I would be very embarrassed if uh, it was just like lagging, or it shouldn't lag, like my internet's fine. Just... Okay. So I'm, get, I, I'm getting better luck with the double tail whips, which is, it means nothing, because I still don't get to win, but it's something. But I, I gotta find stories to talk, because if I'm just here for two hours, then uh, nobody's gonna watch. So, we should get some stories going about Pokemon. It is good for me, requality, okay. And we're both in Canada, so it, it helps. We probably have similar internet. Okay, so I did more math and found out more of how you will win if a Blood Moon appears on Friday the 13th. Okay, let's see what's Friday the 13th, and all the planets are aligned as Mega Man X9 is being made. You will have a chance of winning. You know what? I like the odds of 1%. I don't like the odds of Mega Man X9. Uh, I, have, I don't know if I've talked about it, but I was a huge Mega Man kid on the 3DS Virtual Console. That's like one of the weirder ways to play Mega Man on the 3DS, but I played all the classics. I have all the X games on Xbox and Switch, I believe. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, okay. Miss? Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Mega Man X9 is never happening. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, 
I don't need a Mega Man game every year. I was fine with what they're doing with 11. Like, just every couple of years, something it's like a budget price, classic Mega Man action, that, that works for me. I'm fine with the collections. I haven't played past the X, so I don't- I, I picked up the Zero collection, uh, recently. So, I don't know how well that is, but I used to love Mega Man Zero Collection, the original one. The original one on DS. That made it easier, because the Game Boy Advance games are... ...ball-ripping. To save the- oh, this, this is the dangers of speeding up on a challenge like this, because you'll accidentally, uh... ...forget you'll get hits. It was- it was close. There will come a battle where I will win, and I will do a shmoney dance. And if you remember what the shmoney dance is, you're a real one. Talking about Mega Man gave more chances of winning, that's true. You know what? I, I like that topic. Let's talk about Mega Man. I, I love Mega Man. Why hello there. Hello to you as well, Lost Media Archives. I hope the, the search for Lost Media, whatever it may be, is doing very well for you. Whatever, whatever it is. Whether it be, what was it, like, a day with Spongebob? I think that was fake, but... Yeah, let's, okay, let's get more into Mega Man. Have I told the story of how a random drug addict trespassed into my home to try and hide from two drug dealers? I'm dead serious. No, uh, I don't think you have. I don't recall ever hearing the story, so uh, you have the floor. I will narrate this for you. I've had friends with experiences like that, so that's, that is a very realistic thing to happen. It's not happened to me, thankfully. I live in a bit of a nicer area. Oh, tackle miss, okay. Oh, so I either need him to like miss tackle twice or I can get a crit or he like there's a little bit more variables in it So it's not quite as black and white as just needing a crit Tail whip, okay Actually, I have an idea to make this go a bit faster Turn off the oh, Turn off the battle scene. Because the attack animations won't play. Because I'm tired of grinding this a little bit, so it'll make it go just a bit quicker. Shave off some time. I was just watching Game Champs No Damage Run for the original Gen 1 yesterday. Oh, it's nice to see people are doing it as well. I, I mostly did Fire Red because I'm just so familiar with Fire Red. It's just such a nostalgic game. Is save scumming allowed in this challenge? Uh, I'm honestly not sure <laughs> because I, I do want to waste time, so to speak. Like, because these you know, the funny streamer reactions of, like, screaming about it. But uh, I, I do have, like, work and stuff to do. So I, I will, I promise I will lose progress. But I don't want to be so insane with it. Like, it won't be a save every gym. But just kind of maybe major areas. Like, every dungeon, every location. That might be fair. I was about 5 or 7. I was playing Pokemon Red on my computer via browser. I forgot you can emulate stuff via browser. Then I started hearing an argument from the living room. So I thought my parents were arguing again. Then I hear my mom saying, get out of my house. Then I go something up. Then imagine my surprise when I see two unknown men trying to get another unknown man trying to hold him out of the house. In the sh In the shock. In Game Champs run, she would reset the run every time damaged their mental health. Yeah. That would damage my mental health. That would make me suicidal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's horrible. Why would she do this? I'm not that crazy. I don't have that dog in me. I don't got that dog in me. Okay, back to Arrow Dimension. Then she started crying. Then he is finally dragged to the gate. And then the police arrive. He's taken away. Not before one of the dudes saying, My wife is pregnant. Something happens to her. I'm coming for you. 
That's that's tough, man. That that is a really horrifying story. I'm sorry you went through that, but I'm glad you and your family are okay. It is unfortunately kind of common, like having to do with random strangers who have drug addictions. Like <laughs> drugs are scary, man. Like pot is cool, but I really can't advocate for the rep. Oh, I miss input and use growl. It's over. Oh, that that's the biggest fuck up. I'm sorry. She was playing with her feet by the end. Oh, brother. Was someone the reason the drug dealer brought his wife and they left? Oh, I'm glad you're okay, Arrow. That is genuinely a horrifying experience. And I... You know, I, I'll, I'll give a thank to, thank to the Lord above here, okay? God really looked out for you and said, nah, keep him. He's got plans. God's got a plan for you, Arrow. I don't know what it is. You probably don't know what it is, but the good Lord has a plan for you. Something that just happened to my family a couple months ago. Yeah, like I was saying, it's just like... A lot of people, there's a lot, there's a huge drug problem, at least in North America. I'm in Canada, and it's bad. There is some, it's really serious, the drug problem here. It, like anything. I, li I live in like a major city, so you, you will see some stuff. Like there's the fentanyl problem, especially if you're in Vancouver. If, if you're in Vancouver, it's over. You're, it's done, you're done. Because the insane mayors, yeah, just like, infinite free drugs. I don't know what they were planning to accomplish with that. But. I hope your family is okay. You and your family is also as well, uh, Guy Rocketrim. That is, that is genuinely a horrible thing. And I think when you get to the point where you're willing to like, hurt random strangers and innocent people to feed your addiction, it's crazy. Like, whatever happened to just smoking pot? Alright? Like, I, I make fun of potheads sometimes, but I got friends with potheads. You don't see them doing that. Just, like, how much more do you need than pot? How much more do you need to... Also, I, have, I think I've officially hit more resets on this one than my last time I did this, which is bad news. Hello, Mista. I wonder who that could be. Definitely have no idea. By bad, I mean hard drugs. Yeah. Like, there's definitely a tier to, like, what kind of drugs you can use. You know, pot is, like, at the bottom. Like, you can definitely mess yourself up on pot. I've seen it. Okay. It's good health range. Oh, all right. So, so many, like, almost close encounters, but it keeps it fresh and interesting. Don't know what happened to the drug addict, but I know a few years after he was released, and from that day, I learned to keep the gate closed. Wait, was not important always a girl? No. I was just doing that to draw a little bit of attention to my newest video, which I'm very fond of. You know, it's a very controversial game, even a controversial video, because it has, like, the lowest uh, like-to-dislike ratio. It's still 90%, but some people didn't like it. That's okay. You know, not ev not everyone's gonna like everything you do, so not a big deal. Hey, could you could you imagine if Not Important was a girl? I'm pretty sure that game would get like more positive reception if you were like an anime girl just killing people in America. But the Lisons? Oh yeah, Lisons did not stick. Someone entered the house and stole my father's phone without seeing us. Also, look at that amount of resets, boys and girls. 69 resets. 69 resets from the Gyat. I was, oh, oh! That, that is a confusing nickname. Don't worry about it, guy. Yes, uh, because you get to choose the starter at the start and you get a point to save. I think it's like determined when you pick it. So yes. The Charmander has always been a girl. I haven't been restarting from scratch every time. Don't worry. It's very rare. I got like a weird bit of luck because it's like a... It's like 95% chance to get a male starter. So getting a female starter is very uh, uncommon. Yeah, 
know, like, it's just scary. Home invasion scores are not fun. I've never had my house broken into, uh, thankfully, because, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't need to go into super detail about my life, but it happens a lot for some people, and it's horrifying. That, especially if you're, like, a young kid, that'll, that'll break you. I, don't, I honestly think it'd break you. And it's, it's kind of sad, because the area I live in, I, I don't really want to dox myself immediately, but it used to be a lot safer, but now it's, it's really not. It's like, something's happening to Canada, man. I can't speak for the entire country, but at least in Ontario, it, things are getting kind of crazy. Like, not, not as crazy as, like, the states. Yeah, Mista is right, it's stinky. Mista would know. More than anyone, how crazy Ontario is. How do houses in America get broken into? They don't have walls and gates, unlike in Brazil. Well, the thing in America, people just like break through the front door, and a lot of neighborhoods don't lock their doors, so people just walk in a lot of the times. It's it's weird, but that's kind of how it is in America. This I assume, I you know, I'm not American. And yes, I'm going to assume by the state, there's a much higher, ch especially if you're in Florida. I'm pretty sure in Florida you can just shoot and kill people entering your home and just get away with it. And, you know, I agree with that. That's that's not a bad thing. I think it's crazy that someone will say, well, maybe you should have just let the guy break into your house and uh, steal her stuff. And it's like, well, you know, I don't want to shoot someone, but if you're going to break into my house and potentially threaten my life, life of people living here, stuff... Boom, boom! You know what? No, no. You know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen if you break into the Hey Peter household? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Alright? Packing some heat. I pack heat. I don't mess around, boy. I got that gel shot nerf. You're going down. It's nerf or nothing. Nerf or nothing in this crib. You're gone. Right through the eyes. Like that. Take him out. You just gotta tell these criminals, this nerf or nothing. I will go hotline Miami. Bring out the Nerf guns. I got two, two Nerf guns, a right for their eyes. I might not be able to kill them. I am, I am packing that gat. Cole Massage. Also, uh, fun fact about Cole Massage: he loves bacon and killing zombies from Half Life with the crowbar. It really is nerfed or nothing. I got no other weapons on me. <laughs> so if a guy actually has a gun, he's just, he's just gonna shoot me in the head and kill me instantly. I'll like be on my knees begging like, please don't kill me. My mom will be sad. I don't want to see the good lord yet. Boom, boom, boom. And then rob me of like all my worldly possessions. So like my giant packs of spam. And like uh, postal one on P and the, <laughs> the computer, my games. Ah, oh. look at that crit, and still did it. Still didn't work. It's tough. It's the evil world out here. That's true. I can go nerf this, and then just fart on him. Just give him a big fat rap. There's, there's a pretty good chance that I will hit triple digits. I don't know if that means my reset counter will break. Because, uh... 
I don't know. I've, I haven't actually tested it to two digits, let alone three. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. I gotta close my department. That's the working man. See, that's the working man. You got to appeal to the working man, someone who's going to work, getting a reliable job, and he still comes in. What a king. We get, get some appreciation for the working man. Get some appreciations for Stuart the working man. Hello, Lord Crimson. I've seen your name all around. Welcome. When Pokemon became furry bait, Peter? Uh, well, I mean... A lot of the newer generations had, like, that one or two that people really latched on to. Like, you know, Gen 3 had Gardevoir, Gen 4 had Lopunny, but it was, it was like one. Right? Like, you know, depending on who you are, you like it or you don't. I, I, I will, like, uh, my, mine? Gen 7. Gen 7 is disgustingly horny. So, let's see, there's the Primarina, there's Zarina, there's Salazzle, which is, like, the most overt, coom sex Pokemon I've ever seen. What were they cooking with that lizard? And you know what sucks? I used one on my team. But not because I was horny, I promise. It's because her ability is good! Best gen is gen 2. I've actually not played gen 2. I, I think I have crystal on the uh, VC, on the virtual console for 3DS. Can you stop Restain? I can't, unfortunately. I have to beat this game without taking any damage. Hello, Pokemaster Dan. Don't worry, you'll actually get to see progress in this game once I beat this battle, which I don't know when that is. Oh yeah! Actually, let me do something real quick. I need to check my Charmander's, uh... Shut up. I've actually never seen, like, this part of the tutorial. This is not relevant. Another reason why I chose Charmander is because Scratch is 100% accuracy. It will not miss. So, and Tackle does miss. So Charmander is the best starter for this. Like, categorically. I'm... Did I count that? I'll... I'll give a more counter. I'm already losing track of, uh, like, my counts, and I specifically made a tool just to keep track. Oh, you're killing me, Gat. I played Gold a few months ago and thought it was pretty good. It had some pretty sick Pokemon. I don't know if it's a hot take, but I actually don't enjoy Johto's Pokédex very much. Goodbye, Mista. Annoying Orange. Hey, Apple! But, uh... J Johto's Pokédex is weird, because it's the s one of the smallest ones. There's a crit! Aw. Oh, okay. But... There's some cool Pokémon. I love the starters. They're all good. Uh, Tyranitar is really cool. I like Fortress. I love Ursaring. There's, like, there's a lot of, like, poopy mid-Pokémon, in my opinion. Umbreon! I love the evolutions. Umbreon and Espeon are so cool! Ho the legend yeah, Ho-Oh, Lugia, Celebi. They are very cool. I, I do- you do love to see it. I had a weird relation with Johto, because I never played Gen 2, so I didn't have access to a huge amount of the, like, the national decks. And then Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out. I was like, whoa, buddy, walking Pokemon, Typhlosion, this shit crazy. Now, I haven't played Heart Gold and Soul Silver in a long time, but I have pretty fond memories of my great grandma bought me both of those games. She really was an OG because Pokemon were like the only RPGs I played back in the day. Okay, miss. Jolteon is my favorite until Umbreon. Yeah, I feel that. I honestly don't know what my favorite evolution is. I I do like 
I do like Jolteon as well. I like Espeon and Jolteon, probably. Very safe options, but who cares? Actually, I love Glaceon's design, but it's kind of a mid Pokemon to use in combat because. Ice types, man. Ice types are. It's tough. It's tough being an ice type. But I love. Um... It's one of my favorite Pokemon, Kieran. Am I weird for playing Heart Gold just for the walking feature? No, I don't think so. It's a huge part of the charm of that game, I would say. I think it's completely normal. Plot twist, Peter wants to bring out the Pokemon.fire at EXE Demon for the no damage run. That's true. It's it's gonna be that's my team. It's gonna be missing though. Buried alive. Mew 3. Do you guys remember Mew 3? That was the wildest shit when I was a kid. My favorite Pokemon is Cyndaquil. Love black and white music. Oh yeah, no. I was an early black and white appreciator. Because I actually got Pokemon Black in America, because I was in Florida at the time. I got it on release day, and I loved it. And I got home on the computer, and all I saw was people crying about it. All I saw, I don't like this story, the Pokemon Vanellix looks bad. And you know, you know who told the truth? It was Fujoshi's. It was, it was the women who wanted to have sex with N. Those were the ones who, those were black and white's strongest soldiers. They said from day one those games were good, and now everyone says black and white are so good, and pretending like they didn't dunk on them when they came out. Dead Hand, Ghost, Do Doomsay? I don't think I've ever heard of Doomsay. You're gonna have to like pill me on that. Mew 3 video. Mew is very creepy in this game. The Mew and Mew 2 are very creepy in this game. If I ever make it to the Pokemon Mansion, and like, uh, 38 years, depending on the time I get past the first battle in the game. I'll figure it out. Did I hear of Blue Tears Creepypasta? No, I have not. Something really interesting about Pokemon Creepypasta is there's a lot of new ones being made. It's still going on. I haven't read them because a lot of them are... Uh, well, creepypasta is a bit strong. It's like less Creepypasta, more fan fiction, which I, you know, I don't mind, but it's still like a thriving community, which is nice to see Creepypasta stuff very much still uh, engaged. I think from a gameplay and story perspective, Black and White and Black and White 2 are under, uh, underrated. Absolutely. Those were just very fun games. I've played them a lot. The Pokédex was really good. The story was really good. Everything was just really, really fun. And people came around like a year after, and Black and White 2 were pretty well received. Doomsday was an old, rumored Gen 1 Pokémon. He was a realistic, fiery skeleton wearing robes. He is a evolved form of Doomsday that was a normal skeleton. I love that. Oh my god. Oh, I guess probably why I didn't hear it, because it was a Gen 1 rumor. Because, oh my god, I almost got KO'd from that crit. Because, you know, Gen 1 wasn't my generation. Right? Like, I, I love the old Pokemon rumors, though. Hacked version, okay, blue tears. Where blue, where green, because green and blue are switched from like North America and Japan. Snaps after losing to Red because he lost the respect of his grandfather's Pokemon. Raticate and his chain. Okay, so it's after that. Strangled Red Dizzle. Oh, is that like Strangled Red but ran through Gazoogle? I love Gazoogle, it's so funny. We did hit 100. I need to do something for 100. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this, and then uh, I'll do something epic and funny for a hundred. Could you imagine if one hundred is where we get this? Oh come. Okay. Oh, that could have been special. That could have been so special. That's that's cocked. That's cocked. Get a drink, my throat's parched. One hundred. Oh. 
100. So guys, So guys, we did it. We hit a hundred resets in Fire Red with no damage. This is honestly huge, guys. Thank you. So guys, we did it. There probably is like an ontological horror of being parasynical right now. I I, I do kind of like to make fun of him, but he he's one of the most influential creators I've seen. I I steal so much stuff from him. <laughs> Also, it kind of sucks you can't curse in YouTube uh, chat, I, I think. I mean, it's fine if you want to censor yourself. I, I don't. I usually censor myself in my own videos. I'm just kind of an idiot and have a sailor's mouth and live, but... I don't know. I, I hate how moderated a lot of the stuff is. Like, I, I'm i fine with a bit of trolling, alright? I, I don't mind getting trolled a little bit. People going a bit wild in the comments. I would rather that than, like, censor comments and delete them. I miss. That helps. Ooh, a crit! Tail whip! Crit! We got two crits! We got it! 70 XP. Shut up. I don't want to see- I want to hear a yet. Saving the game. We actually- 102 resets to beat the first screen of the game! Oh. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. What do you, what do you think about that, Mario? What do you think about that, huh? What do you think Mario thinks about that? He likes it. It makes me want to throw my hat up in the air, and then do a little shmoney dance. Oh, we got it. Ooh. Ooh, kill him. I don't have the angle to do a proper shmoney dance. Throw some eggplants. Throw some egg- get those cocks flying wild. Cocks out for 102. Get every- get the shmoney dance. Get the cocks out. Get the super chats. Get them in. Tell Oak to eat my ass. That took almost an hour and a half. Which is really not that bad. It's really not that bad. Has to battle. I wonder, like... Oh, my chair is gonna, like, explode, but... Okay. Is the name? Yeah. Someone's got to check what Jolly stat, like what it does for stats, because I don't remember. I don't know nothing about that. But you know, you know what's scary is I have to go, I have to evade every single battle here. I don't, I don't even need a potion. Like, why would I need health items? Hope I'm fast enough. Yeah, uh, especially rat all normal types. Run, run, run. They have a quick attack. You that's priority. And and Gen 3, all priority moves are exactly the same. So it literally just comes down to like I think like who's fastest or like what level it is. I hate how you don't have running shoes until after the first gym. That is some that, that's some shiza. That's that's some bumbleclot. It did come from Pallet Town, you stupid dusty hoe. You're like, this motherfucker Oak just ordering a great ball and making a 10 year old go pick it up for him. In the city that, need I remind you, has, you know, spoilers for like a 30 year. Can I even, like, see the gym before buddies pick past out? Yeah, uh, this motherfucker running here is, like, part of the mafia, alright? This is like a Tony Soprano territory. Jolly Nature increases speed by 10%. That's perfect. Actually, that's not great because I... Fire is special. 
So Charizard's attacks won't do a lot, but it will be faster, which is still very much appreciated. This is private property. This is private property, Warshke. Get your hog ass out of the Ralph Males area. I think like the original uh, Japanese. I don't know if it was like this in Red and Blue. Wasn't he drunk? Is he was like drinking too much sake? And you remember playing the Fire Red Leaf Green demo kiosk at Walmart and Best Buy? I don't think we had those in Canada. We we had a lot of stuff past the date. Like we had those GameCube kiosks in McDonald's. 10 years after the GameCube stopped being relevant, which is pretty quickly. But, uh... Yeah, not have my coffee, uh, my ass. He's hungover. Oh, here comes Gat. Oh, man. Yes, you're right, Arrow. Uh, Viridian Forest is, because once I learn Ember, that means I can roast all the bug trainers and the bug Pokemon, and I'm gonna need to grind a lot. Because, one, I have to learn Metal Claw to be super effective against Brock's Pokemon, and I have to one-shot them. Oh yeah, I literally have to find uh, Metapods and Kakunas in order to make sure it never hits so I can learn Ember. And Ember should be enough to Oko most things because I'm gonna outspeed them anyways. Like they're weak bug Pokemon. Oh, it's a bit weird Chacklish. Fulfill my dream. That, that's... You won't be necessary. I'll borrow her a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. I'm really not appreciating Gat being a bit of a chud right now. We gotta kill him. You gotta kill him with hammers. Something's weird with my OBS chat right now. Oh well. It's, as long as it's like not exploding, it's probably cool. Yeah, Daisy is kind of irrelevant. Like, she just, she, that's, that's all she does. Actually, there is a bit more going on with her in the Fame Checker. The Fame Checker is, like, weirdly intricate for this game because it gives you a bunch of, like, lore, or it, like, keeps track of a bunch of lore, I should say. And, like, you learn little facts, and I never knew this as a kid. So, something I will establish is I will not be doing the optional rival fight because... Well, I mean, I could. I don't feel like it, though. Fuck that. Now, there's nothing here. I'm just gonna speed right past this. Not gonna be catching many Pokemon. Actually, who is that, like, old head on the old TV? is this the poke dude who who is this guy I, I could sell it yeah but the thing is I don't even need that much money because what am I gonna be buying with money I'm gonna be buying repels and like a couple escape ropes that's about and, and t actually no game corner TMs I need to get a lot of game I need to get ice beam for another Pokemon probably I don't remember if one of them learns Thunderbolt. I need Ice Beam, absolutely sure, because I know one of them does not learn Ice-type moves. I already have a full team planned out. Oh, little Pidgey. The team is, depending on your taste, might be a bit boring, but I will explain how it works and how each member does their specific job. It'll be cool. It, it'll be cool, trust me. Oh my god, it's so good, it's slow. So we need to go all the way. 
up here. Okay, so what I'm going to establish is I want to save at like major locations, like towns and dungeons. So, save here. But I have to get to Pewter City to save again. Which means if I fail, uh, I gotta redo all that grinding, buddy. It's gonna suck, but who cares? Kakuna, perfect. And I can safely fast forward this because he's never gonna hit. Will you pick a Pikachu? I actually will not. I will be getting an electric type, but it will not be Pikachu. I do have a plan for Misty. But it is not Pikachu. You will see, and it's going to be very weird. But it will work. Trust me. You're gonna have to trust me on this. Oh yes, the Tomboy Mermaid. That, that character did a, like a number on some people. I, I just don't understand like, the, the Tomboy mentality. It's, it's strange, isn't it? Alright, uh, now I have, instead of grinding the first battle of the game, it's time to grind... Uh, just regular grinding, I guess. I didn't really have a segue, but... Yeah, no, uh, we actually do not want Pikachu. But it's unusual that we found one so early. Usually, another one. Okay. We need to get levels. Like crazy. And since these guys are kind of slow pokes, they're never going to catch up to me. Ember will always 100% kill them. Which means it's just a matter of, like, basic color pattern recognition of C Pikachu. Probably don't shoot it, because you might not be able to Oko it. And if it attacks you, oops, you lose all your grinding process, and then I'm going to commit an hero live on stream. Okay, I'm almost out of amount of PP points, I gotta go back. No, you do not want to fight no Pidgey. Actually, let me check something. I wanna see how the analytics and the stream are doing. Don't mind me pausing it for a second. Okay. Just making sure everything's running smoothly. So, I'll grind a bit on the wild Pokemon. Probably... Maybe a little bit before I evolve. Just to make sure that I can KO them. Learned Metal Claw. Perfect. Okay. Breezy Hyperkid said, Hello, Peter. Well, hello to you too, Breezy. Very nice to see you here. I'm so glad you could make it, if even for just a small, uh, small time. This is the most painful way you can play Pokemon Fire Red. Actually, it's not true, because I just heard of a challenge. Well, this is the boring part, so tell us, what was your first experience with a video game? I have, like, multiple answers. One would be... The first console I got that was really mine, and the game that was mine that wasn't like a leftover of my parents, was a Game Boy Advance, and I think Pokemon Emerald. I think I started with Emerald, but that was not the first time I experienced video games, because my family had an old Super Nintendo we would play Mario All-Stars on, and we also had an N64 that I would play Mario 64 and Pokemon Coliseum. And... My dad had a PS2 for a while, and I remember he used to play like Twisted Metal and Grand Theft Auto, which is not something you should ever show a child under any circumstances. But he would just come in like, "Hey, Peter, come here. Uh, let me show you how. Let me, let me show you how to kill these prostitutes online." Or not, not online. I'm like, my brain is mush from a hundred and how many resets? A hundred and two resets. My brain's kind of mush right now. But yeah, Pokemon has always been something super close to me from childhood and you know like it sucks to see the franchise kind of be in the state it is i haven't played scarlet violet but 
I saw the media coverage of those games, and it looked unbelievably ass. So I'm not in any rush to pay that much money to buy them. But what I want to look at is a Charmander Gen 3 Learn Set. I don't, maybe I should keep him as a Charmander in case he learns something really cool. No, he does not. Okay, no. Nope. There's no reason to keep him as a Charmander. So, uh, yeah, I should be able to take on trainers now. Should be fine. And I can run from every encounter. You think you'll succeed eventually. What do you mean, like in the challenge? Yes, oh, I'm 100% uh, certain in that. I'm 100% certain I can succeed because I've done this before. I recorded on my own time in the summer, like two years ago. I've done it before, you can 100% beat this game without taking any damage. It's okay, Pokemon Z will save us. Oh yeah, I, I actually, I didn't play, uh, Legends Arceus, I think it was, just Legends, I didn't play that, so I have no idea what the baseline for Kalos, but, like, maybe Kalos being good is something I can definitely be a bit optimistic. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy when Pikachu comes up when you don't want him. I heard Sword and Shield brick switches. I've never seen that happening. I played around 45 hours of Sword and Shield because I was really coping and hoping that game was good. It's was... alright, like, it wasn't horrible. Scarlet and Violet are hands down some of the worst games I've ever played. I had some friends, I have friends on Discord who like them, but they also preface, those games are really cool when you emulate them and pay zero dollars. So they're, they just say like it's not. Like it's cool when you pay no money, but like as a triple A game, especially in Canada, where those are ninety dollars. Different story. How do you even start leveling up if you can't take damage? And what is your predicted reset you need to beat this? Uh, you can still gain experience. All that matters is that you knock out the Pokemon and you don't take any damage from them. So, you still get the same experience. But, like, to grind, you have to find extremely specific uh, Pokemon to grind on. Like, when, when I was starting with the Charmander, I had to find the Metapods and Kahunas because he needed to learn Ember because I couldn't guarantee not taking damage, whereas because Metapod and Kakuna only have Harden. So I could absolutely be sure that I would take, I would never miss, I would always hit, and they would never hit me back. So that's a reliable grind. And that got me to the point where I learned Ember and I could one-shot all the bugs in the path. Which means I probably don't need to... Do I really need to show the, like, the bug catcher encounters? Be serious. Oh, not important, she's evolving! I kind of don't like Charmeleon, to be honest. He looks really weird, but... Hey, Charizard's cool. Even if he's massively overrated. Don't even worry about it. Shame now that games cost 60-ish dollars. They cost $60 in America. In Canada, that 60 is an 80. It is $80. And that's before tax. And tax adds not, uh, $10.80. So, because it's like 13% of the purchase. So, a AAA game buying new is $90.80, which is ridiculous. This is why you always buy used, unless it's GameCube or N64. I've been considering if, whenever my channel starts popping off, I get a bit more uh, fun cash, I might start a collection of N64 stuff, because it'll be small, because there's only a couple N64 games I actually want. But GameCube is tough, man. The, all the GameCube games I want are expensive. 
I want Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness. I want Wario World. Those are so goddamn expensive. They're like 100 hundred, two hundred $200 each for no reason. I hate GameCube resellers. People like Phoenix Reseller, they gotta go. They gotta... They gotta go. We gotta get like a Bogdanoff assassination on resellers. Now, I'm gonna grind a bit more in the forest because once I hit Pewter City, I have to save. So if I grind there and then like, for some reason my level isn't high enough to defeat Brock, uh, I just wasted a bunch of time and I gotta go cry into the corner and piss myself. Because, like, theoretically, I could grind to level 100 in Viridian City. It's possible. Why would you do that, though? That, <laughs> like, listen, this is already a crazy challenge, but there's a method to get level 100 that does not require this. It's still boring, and I might even do some of it off stream because it's that boring, but that is not going to come up to later, so don't worry your pretty little head about it. In Brazil, games are very expensive, as art were, because now it was approved for a project called Legal Framework of Gaming, and actually made proper category for games in Brazil. I I didn't I don't remember much about the games in Brazil thing, but I remember stuff like the Sega Master System still popped off in Brazil because people were just not buying the Genesis because they could not afford that. So you got a bunch of stuff in the Genesis, like a bunch of kind of retro things are popular in Brazil because people just can't really afford the stuff like that. Which sucks because Brazilians are some of like the best people you'll ever meet ever. I've met many Brazilians, they're always hilarious. Before this video games were legally the same thing as slot machines. That's, oh. At least it's not like, like the lottery is really dark because I, I learned this from college. A lot of lotteries and like more third world countries are literally just set up by the government. They are literally a government institution to steal your money. That's why I hate gambling. Only gambling is fun when it doesn't involve real money and it's through video games. Other than that, it's not fun and I kind of look down on people who get addicted on gambling. But If you want to collect, go for PS3 or 360. No one cares. Like I bought 60 360 games in the last few weeks. I only spent 300 bucks. This is very true. I love collecting 360 games, because 360 is an OG console. It's such a good console, and the last two games I got for 360 were, uh, or the last games, I went to a flea market, and I got, I got Sneak King for 360, but I also got, a uh, Blaze Blue Central, not Central, uh, Chrono Phantasma Extend for PS3, because that's such a weird release. Because it was on PS4 and uh, Xbox One, but they still released the extended version on the three on the PS3. So, and I'm, I'm a Blaze Blue fan. Ooh, 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 buddy. Piracy is understandable considering the BS AAA industry goes at. Yeah, honestly, uh, I think piracy is funny. I'll be honest. Like, very few people pirate games. And let's be real, a lot of people who pirate games, they weren't going to buy them. It's not a lost sale. Piracy is not lost sales. People need to grow up and stop believing that myth. That hell of a lot of hoopla. Chuddy Chud for $2 says, Hey Peter, love the vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Chuddy Chud. I will absolutely be doing that. I have no... Uh, I have no plans to change that. It's just I had I'm in a bit of a weird spot because the the hatred video didn't do as well as I expected. In hindsight, I'm kind of an idiot for not assuming that. But I uh, I have something I'm working on now. But I I have to ship it specifically from England, so it's gonna take a while to get here. So I have a, I'm giving myself a bit of time between. I'm, like, I'm a little burnt out, but I still want to get this out by week and a half, two weeks, maybe. It's gonna be shorter, 30 minutes, but it's on a survival horror game on a really, really old one, and I think you guys will really like it. There's other... It's, like, it's gotten more videos. 
Yeah, like people, it's a lot more uh, well known than. Actually, I don't know if it's more well known than Hatred, but you'll see it and you'll go, "Oh, that game! I remember that." Because the technology behind it is just as interesting as the game itself. Also, Blaze Blue is one of the best fighting games ever. That series is what got me into fighting games. It's very true. I am very much not a fighting game person. Like, I I get filtered really easily, and I find it's kind of stressful to keep up. But I love 2D anime fighters. Those are really good. I've been considering getting into Undernight 2, because I've been playing the first Undernight on Switch of all platforms. And Undernight 2 is like, wow, I get a chance to finally play a fighting game on release that doesn't have, like, a hundred people, less than a hundred people playing. And it's not Smash Bros! Or... <clears throat> Fighting game. Oh. I actually really like the hatred. Well, thank you, Chucky Shot. I, I appreciate that. I feel like most people did. It was still a 90% uh, you know, like to dislike. People mostly like the journalist part. I don't blame them. It's very fun to dunk on game journalists. I really hate them, but... I feel like a lot of people didn't... Smoke screen. I'm not learning no damn smoke screen. Stop the cap. That's the cool thing about uh, this challenge, that you get all attacking moves, no defense moves, because the only stats that matter are speed and attack. And in this game, there was, it was before the physical special split, so even then, the stats are a bit weird. I also had one of those emulator discs for PS2. I forgot that PS2 could emulate games. What a good console. That's gotta be one of the best consoles ever made. Right next to like the Nintendo DS. Those two, it's no surprise that they sold the best out of any video game console, because they're the best consoles. With like when I was a kid, I'd ha I had a DS and a PS2 at the same time. So if we could board Pokemon, get bored of Mario and Luigi Bowser in that story, go straight to Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3. It was excellent. Thoughts on Destiny and Destiny 2. I have played Destiny, the first one, on Xbox One. I think it was on one. Once. Be I, I'm not really into a lot of uh, multiplayer games, but a lot of my I, my friends were crazy about Destiny. Like, deep. Bad. Like, you know the memes of, like, the people with the wrist guards playing Warcraft? That were some of my friends on Destiny. They went crazy. I don't think they played anymore. Like it was something they mostly did in high school, just as you know, bored teenagers. The Cape Feather stage. That's oh, pretty early on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, journalists. Like, listen, you're you're not the guy. You're not. Who was the guy who, like, infiltrated the Hell's Angels and, like, blew his... Hunter? Hunter something? He's, like, a famous journalist who infiltrated the Hell's Angels, went crazy, blew his brains out in his farm. Ah, whatever. The only journalist that matters is the ralph -a male Is Ethan Oliver Ralph. He would be able to beat this game in a single try, alright? Ethan Ralph would get it done. He'd go with his sunglasses on and go... Orsky, I, I love, I love Pokemon Orsky. I'm not gonna buy my horse. No, Pokemon, you gotta emulate, cause I need to spend all my money on Modellos. What are the more comments? Remember the Cuphead journalist incident? I do. Cuphead's hard, man. I'm bad at it. So I get being filtered a little bit on the game. But the tutorial. The tutorial. That sucks. That that's tough. That's a really tough place to be. And you know, I there are some game journalists who are like fine. They're just do it's their job. There's a lot of idiots. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a group of people I don't respect very much. I'm back and dicking around to the last hour of my shift. Uh, none of you will understand this. But I love Violent J. Oh. 
No, why am I even running? I'm level 21. I could beat the brakes off of Pikachu with Ember. It don't even matter. And he don't have quick attack. You know, if I see Pichu next, that motherfucker's gonna get singed. He's done. He's done, alright? He's going to the farms. I'm the same way. I've got like 1,200 hours on... I think you meant Destiny. Yeah. The only game I've put thousands of hours into is TF2. Because, yeah, I'm a, I'm a TF2 person. It's, it's tough, but what are you going to do? I mean, if I ever get to that point with, like, Blaze Blue Central Fiction, you, you'll know. I've recently tried playing 3DS ROMs, which seems crazy to me, because the only emulator that was here for the DS... Playing 3DS ROMs now, which seems crazy to me, because the only emulator that were here was for DS and lower. Oh, I don't- I, I think Citra is, like, around. I don't usually use Citra, because I actually like playing on the console. I, I try to play on original hardware if I can, but for stuff like this, it's a Game Boy Advance game. Like, it's it's objectively better to emulate it. No one wants to spend $120 on a game like this. Come on now. Six ninety nine. Karen Harrison says, awesome content. Thank you very much, Karen. I very much appreciate it. That's my first time trying a stream, and uh, it's kind of painful at the start, but I'm having fun. And more than that, I hope other people are having fun, because that's really what it's all about. Every time I heard the term gaming journalist, I remember the dude, yeah, the, the Cuphead tutorial. It, it really is just like an archetypal moment. I'm an engineer man. I like that I I play heavy in demo. That those guys are my favorite. I love the defense class. I used to only play scout and soldier as like a younger kid, like ten years ago playing TF2. But uh, I gotta get a way to get like my PP, my PP extended. Oh, it's almost been two hours, but it does not feel like that. I have not had actually, like, fun where the time flies like this in a couple months. What a, what a great idea. I just decided to fire up a stream. So, you know, see what happens, because I remembered I can actually do something entertaining. I do have other stream ideas, like, uh, I want to stream Hylix, because I've been recommended those games, and I, I'm going in completely blind. So I feel like those games would be really fun to stream, and also that would double to grab footage if I choose to make a video on it. I don't know that far, so we will see. I think it might depend on the stream how many people come in, because, you know, something like a Pokemon challenge is very safe. You'll have people kind of come in and chill. Yeah, you you kind of know what to expect, but something a bit more avant-garde, because I imagine it's like even with the big streamers, it's like... Even like a like a Hassan or a one of my favorite streamers, uh, Zem92. Like he does, like he just Ratchet and Clank uh, speed runs. Those get like a hundred viewers, and then something like his Elden Ring stuff doesn't get as much. Which you know I understand, but uh, oh well. You know, it's again, it's not about the money. It's not only about the viewership. It's about the people that do show up, and it's about me creating as comfortable as a time as I can for people. Favorite game creepy pasta. That's tough. That is actually tough. Uh, I don't know, honestly. There's just. Ones that are super nostalgic, I love that really trash uh, Mega Man creepypasta, Yellow Devil. Mostly because I was stuck on the Yellow Devil fight as a kid. But I honestly, like, they're, a lot of them are really good. I, I should rephrase. When I say really good, uh, no. Most of them are actually kind of bad, but I, I find them so charming. And that's that's part of my fundamental appeal for the, the form. Is, like, they're 10 years old. They're not great pieces of literature, but it, like, it was written by a 13-year-old who was just trying to express himself online. Like, it's... They're harmless. 
And I feel a lot more connected to that than like analog horror, which my journey with analog horror has been controversial because I released a South Park analog horror video that was not good. <laughs> like it's a very bad video. I hate it a lot. It's like my least favorite video I've ever made. Sadly, I can't stay to watch the stream, but I saw you live and wanted to hop in and share my support, even if I can't contribute to monetarily. You do a great job, Peter. Keep it up. Thank you, Mylon. I hope you had a wonderful time for however long you're here. Don't ever feel pressured to donate if you don't have to. A lot of people are struggling, and a lot of people just don't want to, and that's fine. That's You gotta accept that trade-off as like an internet entertainer person. You can have the opportunity to get a lot of uh, free and easy money, but you can't be greedy with it. You gotta understand, you gotta play with the hand. If p you you entirely survive off of people's generosity, and that's something you can't force. You really can't force that. Because if I was like, to bring a class example, if I was Dark Side Phil, like, well, to, to keep the lights on, to play Pokemon Fire Red with no damage, I, I, need, I, I really need that money. I spend all of my money on WWE superstars, and I have to eat spam and ramen noodles every day just to make the bills. So I, I just, I, I really need that money. Like, you don't want to be that. Deadly Premonition video when? I need to play. I have not finished that game. I recently bought the second one on Switch. Finally found it. I really want to play the first one physically. I don't think finding the 360 version is super feasible, so I'll probably get the Origins version on uh, Switch. But trying to find a copy is really hard. I found two. I found Deadly Premonition 2. It wasn't too bad. It was like 30 bucks, which is a pretty good price. I can't find Deadly Premonition 1. And I also need to figure out a way to record the footage on PC without it being ass, because the Steam port of Deadly Premonition 1 is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like, worse than uh, Calamity Trigger's PC port by a country mile. Probably, maybe the GOG version's nice. I'll just have to mention that I have to, like, get a bunch of patches like I'm playing Fallout New Vegas or something. I tried playing uh, TF2 without knowing the bots were there, and I had 2018 Winter Crates. I still have my 2013 Nice and Naughty Crates. That's how- or maybe 2014. It was 2013, 2014. That's how old my, like, TF2 addiction. I even played TF2 on my old Steam account I had before this one. I've been playing TF2 since, like, 2012, 2011. On and off, mind you. Like, I didn't tune into every update, but I've had that Steam- I've had TF2 since I've had this current Steam account. Favorite creepypasta is Godzilla NES. I don't remember that one, to be honest. I will do a reading of it at some point, but it's long. I need to record a lot of footage for it, so it'll 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 be a bit. Also, I am like breezing through this grinding. It's really nice knowing that I can just safely ember, never miss, and then I'll always KO. Because if I had to like use my brain, I would not be able to have such in-depth conversations like this. Which is nice. What's your opinion on the snow on Mount Silver creepypasta? Okay, so that one... That's the one where, like, Silver, the character, has, like, no arms, and he has, like, the unknown in his backpack saying, I'm dead, I think. That one actually scared me, alright? That one actually... Or was that Lost Silver? It was, it was a Pokemon Silver creepypasta. It was either that or Lost Silver. That actually scared me so bad as a kid, because I was, like, 10 listening to that, that I had to, like, confide in my family, like, Money. I'm scared of Pokemon creepypastas. My pussy hurts. And my mother told me something really funny that makes everything you're ever afraid of as a child seem ridiculous. Just write it down. And I wrote down what I was scared of, and that was the unknown in his party spelling out I'm dead. And then I looked at my handwriting and said, that's stupid. And then I wasn't scared of it anymore. That's something I, that's really funny about creepypastas is that a lot of people kind of nostalgic for them I always have one or two is like I was actually scared of this and I'm like reading it now I'm like it's hilarious how bad this is now but it's like a nice kind of nostalgia I was pants shittingly terrified of Slenderman back in the day like paranoid crack fiend paranoid about Slenderman all my friends were too we could have been our own Slenderman movie 
I still can't get over the- Oh, I'm missing so many comments. I still can't get over the fact the creator of Sonic the EXE created a sequel just because the poster was removed. Then he created a long text. JC the Hyena is one of the most insane people I've ever encountered on the internet. Like, categorically. So, you know, I just read his story. It is, like, genuinely 0 out of 10 garbage. Uh... I don't, a lot of, not a huge amount of people know this, but there was a fan game to Mist Crimson, like the, that Sonic.exe game. Uh, the fan game to that, there was a fan sequel called, like, Sally.exe that was incorporated into round two, the sequel story. Just, it's like, he thought it was so cool, it was like, yeah, I put it in the sequel, it's real. And the sequel's even worse. Because round two, like, it's a stupid detective trick, like, duo that makes no sense. JC still can't write. Like, the Cult of X is the dumbest thing ever. I hate it. There's, like, the weird seven Japanese emotion sonics. This must sound like schizo babble if you don't know what I'm talking about, but just read. I, I will I will do a reading of Sonic uh, EXE Round 2 at some point because it is literally worse than the first one. And somehow, he did a remake, like, years and years ago that was only available on his Fur Affinity account. Do not find images of JC the Hyena's for affinity count. Don't do it. You're not ready. I promise you, you are not ready. But, I think it's like white now, but I have the archive of it, and I can read that as well. It's actually worse than both of them put together. He, he, how did you remake a bad story and make it worse? It doesn't help that JC's a groomer. But... Oh, I love the troll pasta. I, I gotta do more, I gotta support the troll pasta community more, because they're, they're really like, it's really obscure now, and it sucks. I used to love hearing crappy uh, troll pasta stories. I'm playing Majora's Mask for the first time reading Ben Drowned. I thought Ben Drowned was scary, but I never cared for the ARG, to be honest. I, I don't remember a lot of it now, but it was like weirdly in-depth and it wasn't good. I mean, I'll have to like do a- I'll have to find some explained video, because I- Honestly, I don't even have- I don't have the patience for a lot of ARGs anymore. Like, they're cool, and I appreciate the format, but it's like, I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> like, I got videos to make, I got stuff to, I gotta go to work. I can't do this stuff. You gotta, you gotta leave it to the kings, and the neat kings, who don't do anything. Those guys are, like, ARG's strongest soldiers. You better respect them. I'll see you in your next video. Thank you. I'm glad that my passion for the topic is communicative, is uh, like communicating, because if I wasn't passionate about it, I'm not releasing the video. I've I've stopped working on videos and started from scratch before because I hated it, and I just don't want to do it anymore. Like the only times I've really been not super happy with the video's outcome is the Minecraft one I released in January. I'll be honest, I just needed some money. <laughs> So I kind of just made that as an easy slam dunk, but I did have a fun time connecting with uh, DJ Dead Pig about the uh, Casey's Cave. That was really good. I like doing that, and the rest were kind of just like. Mm. And the Al Oni video was a bit weird because I wanted to make it super condensed where I watched all the movies, but I was in between countries at the time. It's a long story, but I so I wrote the script whilst I was in two different like time zones. And, like, it just ruined my creative process. So I just kind of released it. I got a sponsorship with that. I got my first sponsorship, which is actually really awesome. I didn't make any money from it, though, because nobody bought the package. But I, I actually just don't care. Getting the sponsorship was cool. It taught me a lot about, uh, like, getting sponsorships and being an adult with it. So I'm very grateful that Aura reached out to me. Even if I got zero money, they got free advertisement. <laughs> I got no money, but... Uh, sucks to suck. At the end, one guy, his name was like, Natural Talent. It's just like one guy that I don't remember his name said, Natural Talent's hard work and humility allows greatness and recognition to come along. Absolutely. That is something I want to keep clear for a lot of people who want to be motivated to be like YouTubers, streamers, whatever. You do not have to be the best in your field. Consistency. Showing up is literally two-thirds of how to win. I'm not kidding. Showing up. Even if you're like toiling, there are ways to work smarter but not harder. 
but you gotta understand, like, there, there are, like, you can do it. Even with zero people, because a lot of, like, YouTube people, they have ins. They will not tell you this, but they have ins. They have, like, people in, literally, working in YouTube who tell them how to do it for free. Because they have family, or nepotism, or connections. Most people aren't like that. I'm not like that. If I was like that, uh, I would not be releasing a video on hatred, that's for sure, but... You will eat kind of garbage for, like, five years on YouTube, but then people are gonna realize you're awesome, and then give you your flowers. You just have to show up and keep eating dirt for a long time, and then you will get recognized. But you gotta, gotta be passionate. If people will sense, audiences are not stupid. If they can sense you're phoning it in, they're not gonna care. So you, like, only do it if you want to. If you are only solely focused on this for the money, you are in the wrong business. Be a lawyer, be an engineer. Be like the first guy and uh, get into networking because you will not make that much money from YouTube unless you're a top 1%, which is even smaller than succeeding. And I'm defining succeeding as being paid, which isn't a lot. I don't get a lot from YouTube, but I, I don't care. That's secondary. I, I think there there was a snow on uh, Mount Silver fan game. I think so. Oh yes. Slenderman was good content for YouTube. Then yes, the the murder was something I heard about when it happens because I was I, said I was a similar age when it happened, and I think she got released actually. But then I saw the movie, and the most memorable thing I can say that was my buddy Kyle spent half the movie in the bathroom with diarrhea. That's the most memorable thing about the Slender Man movie, because it sucked. It was poopy. It was... It was fucking... It was stinky. Oh, what I wouldn't do for a good Slender Man movie. Chris Chan is out of jail. It's true. I will be honest, I don't like following Chris Chan. It, like, it's an older internet thing, it was a bit before, before my time, but there was such a weird culture around Chris. Like, I, I don't know a whole lot about it, so I can't make general statements, but a lot of people just took it way too far. And it's just not... I don't know, like, it's really weird to me, it just leaves kind of a bad taste. I don't really judge people who know much about Chris Chan lore and, like, follow him, her, Chris Chan. I don't really know what they go by, <laughs> I'll be honest. But, uh, I, I try to keep my hands clean of Chris Chan. I have my favorite, uh, I guess, lol cows. I mean, I love the Ralpha male. You, if you've been to the channel, you've seen the Harvester video especially, you know I love the Ralpha male. But, I don't know. When it comes to people who are very obviously not all there, like a little mentally uh, disabled, with special needs, I don't find a lot of enjoyment in chronicling them because they really just don't know better. And it's, it's just not my cup of tea. I'll leave it there. At the end of the day, is the passion, love, and calling into a skill set you want to develop to nurture yourself, your craft, and what you do. That is very... That is very, uh, well-spoken, Akko. Absolutely. Like, uh, that's the thing. The more you just work on it, the natural... Because every creative person is their worst critic. You'll notice everything you did wrong right away. Soul always beats greed, it's true. Because when I moved out of my family's house, I didn't have a lot of money. And I was working on YouTube. I didn't get any money until my Scarecrow video. So that was months of nothing. And if it wasn't for the Scarecrow video, I wouldn't have money to pay rent and feed myself. Because when I got accepted for YouTube monetization because of the views that video brought in, uh, I had one more rent payment, maybe half a month worth of groceries. That was it. And I put everything, like, that's why I worked so hard is because I felt the fire under my ass, which is an amazing motivator. So I, I basically looked Destiny in the eye and said, Nuh-uh. I'm different. I'm gonna win this. And my definition of winning was a bit uh, nondescript. My definition to this day is just surviving. 
not being a multimillionaire, not even making that much money, just surviving. And I can like sort of do that. I earn enough from YouTube that I can pay rent and groceries. I just don't, I wouldn't have any savings. That's why I have another job. I have an IRL job that I usually don't mention because I don't really want to tie it. I don't need people finding where I work. I like to keep the doors open, you know? And it's nice having like a physical job because it reminds me, oh, I can't just let myself go entirely. And it's nice to earn money a bit more because sometimes I'll release something I thought was just okay and it makes a bunch of money. I was like, okay, like it's just kind of mid, and it feels weird, it feels unearned, that's why people go insane, that's why a lot of big YouTube people get like imposter syndrome, it's because, like, it, it's just, it's so bad, the algorithm YouTube stuff is so bad, also, I forgot I had an auto fire button until now, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot, I programmed an auto-fire, and I just- I was tapping A the entire time while on speed-up. Oopsies. Mr. Medicare is amazing. Oh. It, it, you can probably tell, just from the way I conduct myself online, and like, my obsession with Ethan Ralph, I was a Medicare kid. Absolutely. I wasn't like crazy into the, like that kind of internet culture and I wasn't crazy into like Kiwi Farm stuff, but I was a Medicare kid because he was mainstream. And I watched him until I think he got banned from YouTube. It was before COVID. I definitely fell off and I grew off of that kind of stuff. Every once in a while, I check a gym stream. I, I do love the Kino Casino though. That's, Kino Casino is my second Medicare, but I do wish they would cover more internet insanity because it was so fun just laughing at crazy people on DeviantArt. It's not very moral of me, not, not a very Christian value, but... I, I mean, I, you know, it's, it was a teenager, what do you want? The web series is way better than the movie? Yes, sir. Best lol cows, DSP, or low tier god? I don't know much about low tier god, except for the, you know... You should kill yourself now! In the thunder. <laughs> Give a piece of that oxygen. Are we turning this girl into a Charizard? We are. Maybe. Uh, because the rules I've set out is that I can save, like, one time every time I enter a major uh, city or location. Which means I can strategically place it. Because if I challenge Brock too early and Metal Claw does not Oko, uh, I lose. And I have to do a lot of progress over. So I'm going to evolve her into a Charizard and then do all the pewter city stuff because if i die there i get to start off from that point and just grind a bit more i'm still way too anxious to use metal claw which is like listen man it's not super effective i'm really afraid of losing all my progress because i have spent literally an hour uh grinding a fucking charmeleon in the woods the real goal is to be content with with what one creates and living contemptibly rather than just having lots of money and empty existence. Absolutely true. A co just ACO a co whatever you, your name is uh, however your name is said just drop in some casual wisdom in chat. This is true. This just dropping so much wisdom. This is absolutely true. Money can buy you a lot of things, but it can't buy you dignity, dignity, self-respect, and happiness. It can buy you things that make you happy, but be honest. How often are you happy with a purchase? Because everyone I've ever spoken to, when they've bought something they've really wanted for a long time, they're happy temporarily, and then it's back to the grind. You gotta buy something again. And that's just the nature of how humans are with money. Because money is fleeting, and success is not linear. But your happiness isn't. Let's try Metal Claw. Okay. I forgot, it raises attack. Does it have a chance to raise attack or? Oh, it may. Okay, I hope that activates on a Geo Dude, because then I could just sweep Onyx and then move on. Does anyone remember the ruins of Alpha Creepypasta with some audio text? 
I don't think I read that one, but the ruins of Alpha are very creepy, especially so in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, because I did the Arceus event blind. So I was seeing this stuff for the first time, getting the egg of Giratina, and I was like, what is going on? My, th my throat. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's something I had to really work on with YouTube. I am not a big talker. I'm very quiet. So having to talk for long stretches, like I got hoarse from talking, like it was killing me. So I became really acquainted with lozenges and drinking water and I had to buy a humidifier because my throat would just get so dry in the winter doing this. But I've definitely gotten better. I've been talking for two and a half hours. And I'm like barely sore, and I only have one thing of water. And that's just because you, when you keep doing it, I th you know, like you just gotta exercise the muscle. Success is being happy that you tried living on your own terms and realized or doing what you were passionate about. That's true, yeah. Because a lot of people don't get to live out their dreams. And like, this, like my uh, story of I'm gonna make it on the internet. Not the first time, and it will not be the last. And I can't even tell at the end of the day, if I'm in, when I, if I live to be an old man, you know, if God grants me the gift of life for a hundred years, will I be able to look back at my internet career and say it's a success? I don't know, but that's something I'm going to find out piece by piece, because I don't want to speak too hastily. I'm glad I was able to chat with you. Well, same with you, Akko. That you're really dropping some wisdom. The only drinks I drink are water, juice, chocolate milk, which I stopped drinking because too much sugar in my blood to avoid diabetes. I don't drink milk. I actually hate milk. I I was like intensely autistic as a kid. I only drank water, and then like sometimes. Uh, hot chocolate but now i love peach juice that is juice is so good man i i never had it as a kid so when the sugar hit me at once i was losing it you know what's funny outside of what we were talking that even youtube games has more games than playstation 5. oh he didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do Sony that dirty. You did him dirty. It's true. The PS5 just got no games. I I, I want to get a PS5 at uh, some point, but mostly just to play new gen games that I want physically. Like I want to play Atomic Heart because I want the disc. I want to play the better version of Stranger of Paradise. I want to play the Ratchet and Clank game. But a PS5 is just expensive, and I'll be honest, I had to... I bought a computer recently, because my laptop I was recording on was dying. I'm, I'm actually streaming on it right now. And... It wasn't super expensive, I couldn't afford, like, a super expensive one. It's still better than the laptop. So, I'm not complaining, it's just, uh... It, it took it took a chunk out of my uh, savings, which sucks. I'll live. This is not like a sympathy ploy, believe me. The computer is just what I do for my, you know, it's my half of my job. S Sony said the PS5 is halfway through its lifespan. It has no games! What do you mean? You gotta make games for it! What are you doing, Sony? I can't wait for Metaphor... I can't... Maybe Fantasio? I think it's the Atlas game that's coming out. Love JRPGs, Dungeon Crawlers. Tales in the Dr Daybreak. I'll be honest, I still have to beat, uh, like, the last two bosses of Tales... Or Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I love those Falcom games, but they're just so goddamn long. I don't always have the patience, and I drop them for months at a time to pick them back up. But they're, they're pretty peak as far as JRPGs go. Like, my, my uh, experience with the genre is really weird because until I was... when I, for, As a whole, my whole life as a kid, 
I only played Pokemon and Mario and Luigi. I'm not really gonna count Super Paper Mario because I count Luigi. But... And then Sword and Shield Pokemon was so bad, so monumentally disastrous that it made me look elsewhere. It's like I I need to like explore the genre because it came out when I was like 16, 17. So I'm like late to the JRPG party, and the only other exception was, uh, I think I played Final Fantasy VI. I played the Game Boy, that was pretty good, I liked VI a lot. And then I got really into the JRPG, I played a lot of Atlas games, I got really into Shin Megami Tensei. I still love, uh, for the four duology. I need to play more of Devil Survivor and Strange Journey. Uh, I didn't really care for the older ones, to be honest, they were kind of clunky. But I, I'm not crazy about Final Fantasy. My favorites are 6, 10, and Stranger of Paradise, I guess. If you want to count that, but... <sighs> what I'm trying to think. I have a bunch of, like, JRPGs on Switch. Who knows if I'll play them? Who knows? Have you played any 3DS games? Oh, I have a fat 3DS collection. It's one of my biggest game collections, the 3DS. So, my... Of course, I played all the Pokemon games on 3DS. Ugh, rest my hands for a little bit. Played all those. Played the Shin Megami Tensei games. Uh... Uh, Mario and Luigi is really good on 3DS. Basically, the whole franchise is playable because you have the remake of Superstar Saga. You can play Partners in Time. You can play the original Inside Story or the 3DS remake, Dream Team, and Paper Jam. I haven't played Paper Jam though. You are sometimes ranting. It somehow reminds me to post this. I cannot see, I don't know if that link is hidden, Echo. At least on OBS, it is not coming through. I'm not really sure why. Wish I could play a few 3DS games, my PC won't run the emulator. That That's the thing, like, people just get locked out of, when you can't, like, find the system, because people, uh, upsell it. Chrono Trigger, absolutely, yeah, it does count. Yeah, it counts as JRPG, I'd say so. I actually never played Chrono Trigger. I've been told it's like the best game ever, so I should be in the business of uh, playing it. But my list of priorities is a bit borked because I'm playing Pokemon in the worst way you could possibly do it. Favorite JRPG was Devil Survivor, Dragon Quest, Sentinel. I have not. I've played a little bit of Dragon Quest XI. It's a cool series. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. But it's fun. Like, it's definitely comfort food, JRPG. Oh my god. I, it's, I'm earning, like, no XP. I want to die. <laughs> I'm so close. Yeah, I'm just gonna start using Metal Claw as well. Like, there's, there's no way level 31 Charmeleon can't Oko with a... Nah, Metal Claw's got 95 accuracy. I don't like those odds at all. I don't like those odds. Not in the slightest, buddy. I'll just use Scratch. That has 100% accuracy. To be honest, I, I never played the... Uh, Dragon Ball games. I was not into Dragon Ball as a kid. I wasn't really into anime. I'm not really now. It's not- I love Japanese games, not really the cartoons. Like, there are definitely some that I saw in high school though. High school is when I was definitely into the genre. My gateway drugs were Soul Eater and Naruto. Those were like the first two I saw. Loved uh, Naruto. I don't remember really how I felt about Soul Eater. I thought it was cool that Death was a character. And I think I liked Maka as a kid, but I don't really remember. And uh, past that, the only anime I'm watching now is like a Kate. I 
I gotta go back to Bleach. I love Bleach, and I read the manga of Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter is... It's Kino. It's Kino. I will, I will not hear any slander of it. What are your thoughts on the character Peacemaker by Peacemaker Fan 2888? I have actually not watched anything he's in. I have not seen the TV series or the Suicide Squad movie. But everything I've seen about John Cena, he seems to be putting his ass into acting. So I I, I respect it. He seems like kind of a fun riff on like an edgy character who was gonna be taken more seriously way back when. So I, I I'm glad that he's around. Because Deadpool's not as relevant as he once was. He's kind of a relevant Marvel. Mo Marvel's not relevant anymore. Like, their movies don't even make that much money. People do not care about the MCU. Uh, comics are not good. They have not been good in 20 years. It's great. You should watch it. I, need to, I don't have cable. A lot of people in Canada don't have cable. And... What is it on? Is it on, like, HBO? What's streaming service? Because I'll bug my friend to... Bug my friend to stream it for me, because he's he is subservient. He pays for subscription services, and I don't. I don't pay for any subscription service, because subscription is theft. I steal! I steal Adobe. I don't pay none of that subscription gum gum. How could you be happy but someone dedicated their lives to the art? I, I saw that. I I, I didn't really uh, know much about Toriyama, but dude was like, dude held pop culture in the palm of his hand. And people just react brazenly online just to get attention. So if you see some idiot just reacting like, I'm actually glad that Akira Toriyama is dead. They're just doing it for cheap attention. And the worst thing you can do to that person that would really get under the skin is ignore them. Because do you know how they'll feel when they see that their, like, just kind of stupid, hateful tweet gets zero likes and zero comments and everyone just ignores them? They're gonna feel, they're gonna, like, look, it's like, wow, this is, like, embarrassing. They're gonna feel, hopefully, feel embarrassed about their conduct. I say this with the assumption that, like, the person saying it is, like, not a bot, but... It's on HBO, okay. Off to check on HBO. Actually, I don't, I don't think Canada gets HBO, but I'll find a way. My my buddy, uh, you can check him out. His name is Marshall Radiant Black on Twitter. Uh, he loves comics and he loves Peacemaker, so he'll probably find a way to introduce me to Peacemaker. Don't you worry about that. The only thing worse than the MCU is the Sony-verse. I haven't seen a Sony movie. I saw Morbius. I saw Morbius uh, on YouTube, I think. It was just on some random streaming service. It was, it was okay. Like it wasn't a great movie. I honestly liked it more than the Venom movies, but that's not saying much. I don't like the Venom movies at all, and I have not seen Madam Web. But can you? I still think that stupid like Billie Eilish song they played in the. The trailer is... it was just... it was goofy. But you know what? We we need more of Madam Web because we need the return of, like, ass dog water movies. We need 0 out of 10s to balance the 10 out of 10s. There has to be balance. You have to have terrible shisa in order to have something good, alright? You need, like, a Madam Web for every fight club. Yeah, that's the thing. It's also expensive to go to the movie theater depending on gas, because I don't know how the situation of the world is, but gas has become a lot more expensive in Canada, which is nonsense because the entire reason why people are fine with not having walkable cities in North America is because fuel is cheap. That's why Americans don't care about long drives, is because fuel doesn't cost anything compared to Europe. So when it starts to cost something, it's like, what's, what's the point of the country, bro? I'm not even that into movies. I prefer television greatly. 
I've, I've been really into watching uh, CW's Flash recently, which is... Yeah, I know it's a CW show. It's, my expectations were kind of tempered. But I, I like the first three seasons. Those are very... It's very fun television. Like, yeah, it's superhero stuff. But, you know, I'm not above... I'm not above it. I mostly like The Flash. I haven't seen much of Arrow or, like, any of the other CW superhero stuff. I used to watch Supernatural when I was a teenager. That... That was a show. But, wow. I saw season four. Uh, I finished it two days ago. It makes me want to kill myself. Like, I, I worked a full nine-hour shift, saw the last couple episodes of season four, then watched, then went back to work right after, and it actually just felt like getting my brain blown out 30 hours in slow motion. It was horrible. Nobody reps Clifford DeVoe. Nobody. I will not hear a single, like... The actor was good. But the story was Cheeks. The only good thing about season four of Flash is Ralph Dibney, the elongated man. He looks like the purple guy. My favorite media is video games. Absolutely. Also, video games are just the easiest thing to make YouTube videos on, which is nice. Like, that's, that's a key tip. You want music for your uh, YouTube videos? Video game music. It will almost never be copyrighted just right. Probably just because they didn't get their foot in the door. I'm sure they will if they can get around to it. When I hear CW... Oh yeah, the Powerpuff Girls. That did not come out, thankfully. I don't know what they were thinking with that. The CW has, like... They fell off. The Arrowverse is done. That was, like, the only reason people watched them. I think the last Arrowverse thing is Superman and Lois. That's coming out. Season 4 is coming out. I honestly don't think it's going to be good. So it's gonna, that show is going to kind of go out with a whimper. It's just going to suck, but... We will... We're in a... Honestly, we're in a much better age of superhero Kino. Because, like... You can still read DC comics. And, like, there's still good DC comics. There's no good Marvel comics out right now. Like, maybe Avengers Twilight is currently running. That I've heard is not bad. But... The movies are trash. Marvel's garbage. Uh... DC is not much better right now because I was kind of a Snyderverse appreciate. I like the Snyder movies, but... On the Brazilian Portuguese dubs during one of the dialogues were flashed as if you were looking for a fight, you found one. They forgot to. I hate the character limit on YouTube chats. Warner Bros. is pretty much dead. Yes, Warner Bros. is actually dying and it's really funny. And that, that sucks because all the game studios that Warner Bros. Uh, owns are going with it. It's like, well, they make good games. Monolith Studio made two of some of the best first-person shooters ever. They made Condemned and Fear. Those games are unbelievable. And the studio's dead because Warner Bros. pussy hurts. It's like, we gotta make Suicide Squad. Also, the game doesn't work. My good buddy, trusted friend, has been on this game's dick since day one. He wants to cope, it's so good. And he can't even play the game. Okay, let me read the rest. The Brazilian Portuguese dub for Flash, where the Flash says, if you were looking for a fight, you found one. They forgot to cut the rest, so you can hear the voice actor saying, look at this shit dialogue. <laughs> Yeah, some of the Flash dialogue is out there. Whoever does the dub for, like, the Portuguese version is probably not wrong. But, like, with the CW Flash, you just gotta... You gotta go in accepting the cheese. If you don't, it's... It's just not gonna... Oh! I learned Flamethrower! Okay! Uh, I'm getting rid of Growl, that's for sure. I forgot Charmeleon learned it so early. I thought that was a Charizard thing. Well, thank you, not important. Well, it's another 15 rounds. I don't have to go back. I always forget that Brazil speaks Portuguese. I I'm not very well versed in history. And I'm very, I guess I'm very much sheltered in Canada. Yes, the Joker, uh, they kind of forgot to market that game in general, so it's flopping really hard. Like, 
So, to put this into perspective, on Steam charts, I don't know about the console, uh, Suicide Squad has done worse than Gotham Knights and Marvel's Avengers. Like, at its peak, it was 13,000 people. 13,000 is not bad for... Like, it doesn't matter. The, you know, the player numbers on, like, single-player games or whatever. Like, 13,000 is good for, like a, like, a, like, a, like, a fighting game. Like, a niche fighting game. But 13,000 for a live service game, despite the fact it's full price, is terrible. It's actually, like, really bad. And, uh, yeah, they didn't market the game because Warner Bros. has no money. They're broke. They're dead broke. Ugh, damn arms. Okay, I'm almost done evolving Charmeleon. Just two more levels, and then I can attempt the gym. I can save and attempt the gym. I can finally, like, regain interest in this stream. <laughs> That's the part that kind of sucks, is that this challenge is an astronomical amount of grinding. Like, just rip my cheeks open grinding. Yes, game as a service are kind of... There's good examples. It's not for me. I'm kind of reclusive with games and mostly enjoy single-player games. But I get how someone would like uh, games as a service. It's just not for me. It's not, not what I'm into, alright? That's not what strange gaming is, buddy. That's not strange, obscure, and underrated. Nothing strange, obscure, and underrated about Fortnite. But there, there, I suppose there is value, but it's just, it's just infected every facet. Like, remember when skins used to be free? Like, on a PS2 game, you get to unlock costumes? Yeah, you don't get that anymore, because... That, the thing is... Is, uh... It's always the suits. It's, the, like, the marketing executives, the shareholders, and the suits are the people that ruin games. I have confidence that Rocksteady wanted to make the Suicide Squad game amazing. No game developer wants to work on dog shit. None. And I feel bad for them that they're basically saddled with some, like, insane CEO says, No, we have to make it live therbeth. People love live therbeth. And they just fail every time. They cancel- Oh yeah, the Coyote movie, uh, Acme vs. Coyote. I love Looney Tunes back in action, so it's kind of sad to see that happen. They did that with Batgirl, remember? They, they, uh, wrote off Batgirl Batwoman, well, remember it was, it was a tax write-off, and they literally deleted the movie. It's gone. It's better to have paid skins and paid weapons. That's true. At least skins are 100% optional. That's why I don't have a huge issue with what Fortnite is doing, most for the most part. Because it's just skins. It does not really affect the game. Emotes do not affect the game. It's not like TF2, where if you know how to abuse emotes, they do affect the game. You can cheese. Like, corner peek. You can corner peek. Like, this actually some stuff you can do with emotes in TF2. But nobody cares because it's TF2. Like... Gotta go for the time. Blessing and good vibes. Thank you, Akko. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. You know, there's not much left. I'm probably gonna get to... I'm gonna beat Brock in this stream, 100%. Probably gonna get to Cerulean. And then do a stream another time. Actually. Yeah, Cerulean's a big wall in the game. That's the thing. So, I will explain a little bit of Cerulean, then pick it up next stream. Whenever that is. I will announce it a day in advance, if people want to come in. Played dead or alive for the other day. It was amazing to see unlock skins. Oh yeah, Dead or Alive. I remember uh, Ryu Hayabusa was in one of those games. Or maybe more than one. I used to go crazy on Ninja Gaiden. Those are great games. Very underrated. Like, if you... People want to pay, like, God of War and Devil May Cry homage. You gotta respect Ninja Gaiden for that genre, too. Because it's just as important. And so it was, it was, like, crazy ahead of its time for NES, too. That game had cutscenes when, like, no one was doing cutscenes. Like, full story cutscenes. 
obviously not with like voice acting, but. Oh, I'm one level away. Okay, reusing all of them. Okay. I, I think it's because the same company makes them Koei, I think. Don't quote me on that. It's like one of her property. I always get confused with some of these Japanese companies. They're kind of a mouthful, but. Kind of wish they'd make a new Ninja Gaiden game. Because that genre of like hack and slash is kind of dead. Like, the best you're getting is, like, Devil May Cry 5, uh, and then Team Ninja games, like Neo and uh, Stranger of Paradise, because everyone wants to be a Soulsborne. Everyone likes the dodge heavy and, like, the slow and lumbering. Oh, you bet. One oh, yeah, another, like, 10, 20 minutes? I can actually leave this forest and, like, make the stream interesting again. I get the save. I'm gonna, like, if my computer got... Oh, I got static. I actually forgot. I need to... Oh, yeah. I might need to buy... Uh, paralyzed heals. Because you can get paralyzed by static, but still not take damage. It's not like a burn heal or antidote where you will take damage. Was hack... Oh, yeah. I, for I actually forgot about Final Fantasy 16 to be honest. That's one of uh, PS5's only games. I kind of fell off Final Fantasy because... Like many, I was interested and excited for 15. 15 is not a bad game, it's very confused in what it wants to be. Yeah, no, I'm like actually genociding. I am genociding the bugs here. Those poor Palestinians got no idea because the bugs here got it way worse. Should have named this Charmeleon Israel. How much XP am I? 30. Okay, so I get 30 from each fight. I need 2,000. 15 is the best one, really. I've actually not seen that opinion before. Usually people say, well, 7 is the best, and even then they're lying about it, because 7 has, like, an absurd amount of secondaries. I've beaten 7. It's a cool game. People gotta chill on it. Like, it's really not all that in a bag of chips. Half the cast is, like, kind of mid. Oh. Alright. I will tell you the good party members of Final Fantasy VII is Cloud, Barret, Aerith, and Sid. That's that's kinda it. Like it's not that the other characters are bad or like they're useless, but like not a lot of other ones are like interesting. And I mean, I shouldn't say that. I'm more biased because uh Little known secret, uh, I hate Tifa. I hate her. I actually really, really dislike her as a character. The bad writing the characters in I mean, OST makes 15. 15 does have an OST. The characters are pretty cool. Yeah, the story just makes, like, no sense, but basically everyone who's played the game agrees, yeah, Arden, Arden is that guy. And he is that guy. What made you want to do this? Uh, insanity. I'm gonna be honest. Actually, no. Okay. So I was getting more into Pokemon Challenge content because I was watching a lot of uh, Small Ant and Johnstone. I'm sure those creators are quite popular. And I had done this before. I did. I beaten Fire. I beat Leaf Green actually with no damage like in 2022. And I thought about making a video. I just never got around to it. <laughs> so I, I did all that for nothing, basically. I was like, damn, I kind of want to get into streaming, partially because I wanted to do something to occupy my time, because the Hatred video didn't do super well, which is whatever. It happens, it might do better in the future, it might not. So I just, I don't know, keep the channel alive a bit, because I haven't gotten as many views as I used to. So just to like reinvigorate some people by doing something a bit extra on my end. But also, because it's something easy, like, it's a Pokemon challenge. You kind of know what you're getting into. And it, it really is that simple. No damage it means no damage. I will not take any damage or I have to reset. Reset from, like, the nearest uh, town save point. At least. I'm actually annoyed that I haven't found any shinies because 
pretty sure I would, like, because I'm on speed up, so... I could easily kill a shiny right here. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm strong enough I can take down all the Pokemon in the next route without breaking a sweat. So let me just power through, because... Actually, I, that's not true. They have Pidgeys with Quick Attack. And I really don't want to run from all of them, so I'll just make my way through the forest, because I'm about to level up soon anyways. Thirty-six? She's evolving! There she is, the Charizard. I'm peeking the like with that one. Trying to learn wing attack. I forgot this thing learned wing attack. Yes. Uh, let's just get rid of Scratch. If I got rid of Metal Claw by accident, i not even kidding, I would put that nerf gun on my mouth and shoot it because I literally would have just wasted an hour and a half of my life and destroyed my thumbs. Let's check her stats. Fuck, she's fast. That's a fast Charizard. It's this, basically, playing this is like playing as a kid, because it's all attacking moves and no defense. Because you only need to focus on speed and attacking. You have to be hyper-aggressive. I think I forgot that. Trailer. Penny Panadol says, hey, Peter. Well, hello, Penny. How are you? Like, what even on- I forgot. Yeah, because I think the ratted- No, I don't even know if anything here has quick attack, to be honest. But, I've made it into Pewter City. Which means I'm gonna heal really quickly, and I can save... 15- 15 hours. 15 hours for speed up. Good God. Now, uh, let's waste no time. I'm gonna challenge Brock right away. But before I do that, I will clear uh, the, the one trainer, because I have Metal Claw. And these guys don't have priority moves. So it's a bit unbalanced, you know. Oh, that's not a rock type. You lied to me, game. Who cares? I am... Wildly overpowered, Liam. Alright. When will you pay re <laughs> reparations to KTB? Oh, I gotta pay him reparations, because his Coronation Day video directly inspired mine. Because there, there was kind of a lack of good, uh, like, analytical videos about Coronation Day. And his was so good, and it got so popular, I was like, damn. I gotta do that, and now it's my second most popular video, so thank you for all the attention on that one. I love Coronation Day. I'm pretty sure my video on it is like the most popular video on YouTube, of Coronation Day specifically. Which, uh, I wonder how many people were gonna run with like the stupid theories I had. I don't think I've actually seen any, but that's... I mean, it was kind of a reach anyways, so... But we, we gotta get to Brock. We gotta get rocked by the Brock. This would be so cool if it raised my attack right now. It didn't, yeah. That might have been overkill. Oh, now you raised my attack, but in balls. You know what, thinking about it, I probably didn't even need to be a Charizard for this fight, but, uh... I did it anyways. 
Did I just waste an hour grinding? No, because I would have to do it later. And there's gonna be trainer fights, so... This really wasn't a waste. Wow, a TM for Rock Tomb. That's worthless, thanks Brock. Pokemon Clover, no damage. I've played Pokemon Clover, and I didn't know about the rare candy thing until the end of the game. Because it was hard, and all the Pokemon I wanted were really, like, they were hard to evolve, so I was like, who cares, it's just a ROM hack. I'll use rare candies, and then I got... Alright, these are my cheeks, ripped open. Just destroyed. Done. They they got me. They trolled me so bad, and I was so mad that I didn't play the game again. Snakewood no da- Snakewood no damage! That's not a bad idea. That is actually not a bad idea. I like Snakewood. It kind of sucks, but I don't care. It's really fun. It's insanely edgy. Who cares? A lot of people cry about Snakewood, but... It was made by, like, a teenager, like, 2010. Who, who cares? I've actually, like, almost 100% completed that game. I remember I looked up cheats to get Jirachi because they replaced Jirachi with a Pokemon... I forget his name, but it was, like, normal and dark, which is an insane typing. But you could never get it. But I have, like, basically 100% in Snakewood years ago. It was a great- it was actually a really fun game, honestly. Brown, no damage? I've actually never played, uh, Pokemon Brown. How do you no-hit Pokemon? Oh, I meant more, uh, you don't take damage. You can deal damage, you just can't ta uh, I probably should have titled the stream a bit better, but you can't take any damage. I think I just titled it with no damage, but there, I mean, technically there is a way of like indirect attacking moves. Like you can use Leech Seed and status effects. It depends on what you consider like a main attack. But I, I don't know if I want to do that. That sounds even more boring because you just need really defensive Pokemon depending on if uh, you're allowed items in battle. You can just stall for a million years and never and just use Toxic, and that's really boring. At least there's like a little bit of strategy in each one. Like the only strategy I imagine for a no damage where you have to use Toxic is uh, like Koga. Like you gotta figure something crazy for Koga. But the no damage sounds like something my dry bread would do, the Pokemon channel. Great channel, by the way. I've seen so many of his videos. He's also Canadian. But he's from Hamilton, which is really scary. Hamilton, Ontario is like one of the scariest places on planet Earth, and I will not take any criticism on that. What is the weak ass Caterpies? Get out here, boy. I'm gonna kind of avoid trainer battles that I don't know, because the chance of them having a Rattata or a Pidgey with quick attack is too damn high, and that will cause me to reset. And I feel like it. Went down the rabbit hole once and found the Cutterlean's new account. They just write fanfic nowadays. The Cutterlean, my idiot. Who, who's that again? The Cutlerine? Is it like the ROM hack creator? I'm total. I'm totally brain farting on that. Move my there. I have to keep OBS a little bit open just so I know my reset counter is working. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that girl has... I I can check individual trainers. I don't feel like it though. I don't need... I don't need... To, I don't need that trainer. So if I can't avoid a trainer, I will. Yeah, it, it kills my EVs, but like, who cares? This is an insane challenge. I'm gonna be... At the end of the game, I will have to be 100. Oh, creator of Snakewood. I feel like I should have known that already. 
I'm I'm actually really curious. What fan fiction? What do they write for fan fiction? Because that's that's like a very broad uh, term. Is it Pokemon? Here's two suggestions. Play Pokemon Emerald Rogue on stream after this challenge, or Pokemon No Damage with no checkpoints. No checkpoints? Honestly, I would be willing to do something like that, but you would have to pay me. Not, not specifically you, Arrow, but like, some of you guys better be getting super chats out the fucking ass for me to do that. Because I will want to die. I will really want to die if I do that. How, much, how many Poke Dollars do I have? So, mostly Pokemon stuff. A lot of people go really crazy with Pokemon uh, stories. Either they write like their own fan, like their own regions and own Pokemon, or they write like weird, uh, the, like the anime fan fiction of like Ash, where he just like finger blasts one of the girls. My favorite fan fiction is Tails Got Trolled. I love Tails Got Trolled. Also, a good thing for having Metal Claw and being so strong, the hikers, because they have Geodudes, and, like, Gravelers, and the Chops. So Charizard can handle all that, because it's got Fire for the Bug-type trainers, Wing Attack for the Machops, and then Metal Claw for the Gravelers. Actually, what really concerns me is the Super Nerd, because he's got a Slowpoke. Oh, I'll get you. This guy usually has Magnetons. Yeah. Oh, Voltorb, we'll be seeing more of you later. I always loved the dungeon theme in this game. It was always so mysterious. I have I try to avoid the lasses because they usually have normal types. And normal types are really, really dangerous. Same with the youngsters. The hikers usually don't have them. I missed! <laughs> I missed! And then the Onyx hit me! On jaw? Are we fucking serious? Metal Claw missed? Oh. I gotta go back to Brock, buddy. Oh. That's balls, man. Oh. It wasn't that bad, because I'm still, like, trained up as a Charizard, so, like, I can speed through Brock. I just actually wasted a bunch of time there. I don't even know what hit me. I think, I think he just used Tackle. I think he actually just used Tackle. There, I beat Brock. That's, that sucks. You know what, avoid all the hikers then. Metal Claw is not helpful. 95 accuracy, my fucking ass. The word fanfiction reminds me of the beatbox that paid $50,000 to have the AMV where he's chased by the husband hotel check. -in. Long live the bride and groom. Yeah, you could not escape from like the, the verbal ace husband hotel thing. It was everywhere. And I have not actually seen Hasbun Hotel. It kind of just looks like Homestuck 2 for women, so I'm not really interested. This guy's good. Get all the bug trainers out of the way. At least Ember can't fail on me and miss. He was crazy for that. Fifty thousand dollars, like. That means this guy either had so much money that he could just throw 50k on this, or he was like on some insane Gooner stuff. Insane J.O. session. It really is though, like I kind of have... Hasbun Hotel just looks like Homestuck. And I know that because I read Homestuck and I, was, I really didn't like it. 
and basically every fan I've seen of Hasman Hotel, it I, I don't say that as like a disparaging point. It's like, you know, there's different things men and women get interested in. Oh, local fairy. But Hasman Hotel oh cock. I'm here to fight this guy again. Hey, how about Metal Claw missed, but Geodude was a dumbass and used like a, a nothing move. Okay. Eat my balls, hiker. You're done. The guy actually had a show. Yeah, the cartoon beatboxing. I think that's what he was up to. I don't know how he did it, because YouTube really doesn't make, like, an absurd amount of money. But he, he must have had an in. Because people with, like, an in get more money somehow. In one video, he said that he was running out of money to continue paying the animated. Oh, that's why. Because animators work for nothing. They work for they work for donuts, buddy. They work for like pennies. Because animators are usually people who are so obsessed with the craft, they will be willing to do it for free. They're crazy. They have an insane work ethic for nothing. Let's also avoid all the team rocket runs that we can because they all have quick attack. Asking for donations is the funniest thing ever cuz it really does just, like, prey on people just having money. And speaking of prey on people having money, let's get some super chats for 103 deaths. That I actually genuinely think it's funny just to ask for super chats for something incredibly mundane. You do not have to. I am, like, half joking. But it does very much motivate me more to do more streams and torture myself more if I get money from doing it. Verbally seems like an alright guy. Like, he doesn't seem like an insane person. From what I gather. Okay, he's got a rat attack. Mashallah, do not use quick attack. God damn it. Fuck. Oh. I gotta do that again. So, uh, this is a bit of a problem, because I don't have a Pokemon with Quick Attack. Donate money to make me self-shipping fantasy. So true. Yeah, so this is- so, I don't know if you can avoid that Rocket Grunt, which is bad, because, uh, I kinda need to get past Rock Tunnel, and I- Yeah, I don't know who made that song originally, but they, they kind of just got owned. <laughs> he kind of just got big leagued by like this S tier gooner. I gotta fight all the goddamn bug trainers again. This time I'll actually avoid the hiker. I don't actually know what to do because I'm pretty sure the priority, like they're always gonna hit quick attack, but like I don't know if they're programmed just to always uh, go for it. Because I gotta make a distance back. I gotta like go through most of Mount Moon just to... Just to check. That's tough, man. Oh, I rushed through it. But she has an Oddish and a Bell Sprout. When an animation of your song, that that is just how it goes. When an anima animation blows up, it'll usually overtake the song itself. I mean, you know, it's not always a bad thing because sometimes the animations are pretty good. But if they're uh, they're used for that, that's probably kind of embarrassing. Like, there's a specific song in Chrono Trigger that has actually been ruined because of Brian Pepper. If you remember Brian Pepper, oh man, that was a dark day. Just get a level 100. Yeah, I, I do actually need a quick attack Pokemon. But the thing is, that quick attack Pokemon has to be high enough level to be strong enough to not only like out prioritize it, but one hit KO it. So I'd have to go back and grind another Rattata. 
which is like I can do that but there's a different strategy that I don't remember having to do that in the last one I think Like, I'm, like, I have to go back. Oh. I actually didn't account for this. I did not account for this. This is, this is actually really bad. There's no way to avoid this guy. Or he just doesn't use quick attack. Okay. That's why. He just doesn't use quick attack. That's why you throw yourself at him. Okay, I guess the game's AI is a little bit weird. Because he does have quick attack, he just doesn't always go for it. Oh god. Yeah, so you had to go this way. Alright, let's see if I can not die instantly of this guy's slow poke. Oh yeah, if it means anything, Brian Pepper is, is very dead. That dude that dude is like with Judas right now in Satan's mouth. He's gone. Pretty sure this guy's a slowpoke at least. I should be able to just oak it with wing attack though. Oh, I guess he doesn't have a slow poke. I guess I got it wrong. But that also means I don't have to worry about not being below Oko. So... Alright. Uh, I honestly don't know which fossil should I take. It, I don't- it doesn't really matter. Grimer sprites are a banger, it's very true. It doesn't really matter uh, what fossil. I don't know if I'm likely to revive it. But I, I'll i take your input. Let's involve the chat a little bit, you know? I, I'm not just, I'm live streaming. Let's involve the chat. So, it's either got to be most unanimous choice, like three out of four chooses one, or the first person who's for chats gets to choose. I don't, I don't know how to make a poll, to be honest, so... I, I need to open the stream for that, actually. Let me, let me open it. Or <laughs> the first person who's for chats gets to choose. I don't, I don't know how to make a poll, to be honest, so... Oh, this is how you do a poll, I, okay. I I think that's how you spell omenite. Uh, let me open it. There. <laughs> the first person who's for chats gets to choose. There we go. I got, I got a poll open. I don't, I don't know how to make a poll. To be honest, so. Oh, this is how you do a poll. Okay. So I'll, I'll let it go for like another th three minutes. It does not need to be extensive because there's not many people here. You know, it's gonna take a little bit. Uh, there. The first person who's for chats gets to choose. There we go. I got, I got a poll open. I don't, I don't know how to oh, this is got how four do. votes. So I'll, I'll so let it go for like another far. It's really weird watching your own live stream on YouTube because I'm watching it through the OBS window, so it's a bit delayed. It's fifty-fifty. Come on, <laughs> someone's got to be a tiebreaker. We got four votes. It's literally fifty-fifty. All right. Kabuto. I gotta pick Kabuto. Poll is done. It's not working. Uh. Poll complete. 71% Kabuto. We are going with Kabuto. It has been written. Wait. Dome is Kabuto. Yeah, yeah, Dome is Kabuto. Helix is, uh, Omanite.
that's the thing I really hate about fossils in this game is that you can't you can't revive them until Cinna like Cinna Cinnabar Island. Like that's like at the end of the game. And they come out at level five. Like it's so worthless. I love the fossils. Uh Kabutops, Omastar, and Aerodactyl are incredible. But Oh, Route 4. Now, this is going to kind of be a tricky place to be. So, because we can't go back after this point. Not that there's much to go back to, but there is one Pokemon I need to pick up. In oh, sorry. Wait, there's just an old house thing. Uh, it it enjoys scaring me sometimes. But we've made it to Cerulean City, which means I get another save. And it's been almost three and a half hours. I think it's time to call it here. So the progress was made. I started. I had to grind over a hundred times to beat the first battle. I had to grind Charmander in the forest until she turned into a dragon into a Charizard. Beat Brock easily. Uh, we got owned really hard by missing Metal Claw and <laughs> uh, stupid quick attack luck. But the next time I pick this up, starting at Cerulean, this is the most, like the next time I stream, it's gonna be even more brutal. Did you see these bags under my eyes? It's only gonna get worse. And you get to enjoy all that. I don't know it should be soon, I will announce it. So w whenever that happens, don't even worry about it. I, this should save as a VOD as well, but I'll, I'll just look at the VOD to remember how many resets, cause I'll keep it going. Cause the program will reset after every time. But until then, I hope you know, I will make an emergency save state just in case here, because I'm a bit paranoid. But yeah, let's close Fire Ed. That will do it for today. Have an excellent rest of your day. Thank you so much for showing up to the stream. That was very fun. I hope next time uh, I'll do it more, gets a bit more attention, more people come. Get some goddamn super chats, super chats going, but hey, you never know. Peace.